Chapter 1381 Master Long shows off his power translator. Born to be raging prairie fire, a flame sphere shot into the sky, and golden flames immediately began to incinerate everything around it. Bang! Suddenly, the flame sphere exploded in the sky, turning into eight smaller spheres that shot out like a beautiful firework, instantly covering a wide area. The eight smaller flame spheres exploded into another eight spreading the golden flames once more. After the flame spheres exploded a total of eight times, a region of 10,000 miles was turned into a sea of flames. Pill Valley's magical arts really are useful. This was one of the magical arts Long Chen had learned in Pill Valley. Although the raging prairie fire's power wasn't as great as raging flames devour the heavens, it cost less energy and was spread throughout a greater area. It was an extremely powerful area attack and considering he was unleashing it within this forest of ancient trees, its destructive power was definitely terrifying. All the trees in this region began to burn. Chaos raged in the heaven-devouring forest. This bastard, does he realize what he's doing? The Pill Valley experts chasing behind all turned pale. This Long San's ability to cause trouble was truly heaven-defying. He had wantonly unleashed so many flames in the heaven-devouring forest. Idiots of the heaven devouring forest, this is the price for not being respectful to Pill Valley. I, Master Long San, will teach you brats a lesson you'll remember. What drugs did you take to dare stop my Pill Valley's flying boat? Today, if I don't beat you until you kneel on the ground begging for mercy, then I wouldn't be called Master Long San. Boom. Long Chen continued charging forward with his flying boat, and he tossed out another flame sphere. He had only just flown out of the first sea of flames when a second sea of flames was born. These huge trees were extremely weak to his flames. Even the slightest spark could ignite them. The sleeping trees were all woken. Their branches whipped around as they tried to extinguish the flames. But that was the heaven incinerating flame and was not so easy to extinguish. Considering that fire was the bane of wood, these huge trees were quickly incinerated and toppled. Pill Valley. You go too far. Do you think my heaven-devouring forest is easy to bully? Furious roars began to ring out, and several terrifying auras began rushing over from the depths of the forest. Perfect. Long Chen jumped off the flying boat, wielding a sword. He stabbed a hole into the ground and vanished. Boom. The flying boat he had been on exploded, unleashing gale winds that spread the golden flames even further. Huge figures comparable to mountains rushed over. Each one of them was an incredibly powerful tree demon. Pill Valley. Die. Over 10,000 of them had appeared just in time to see Pill Valley's flying boats come flying out of the core of the flames. This proof was clear. These powerful tree demons summoned barriers of light that isolated them from the flames and attacked Pill Valley's experts. Stop. This is just a misunderstanding. Listen to our explanation boom. The first tree demon didn't bother waiting. Its branches gathered together to form a huge fist that smashed one of the flying boats away. Although these flying boats were hundreds of meters long, compared to these huge tree demons, they were like toys. Fortunately, the flying boat's barrier activated, or this attack would have destroyed it. Bastards. Do you think we're idiots? After attacking, you say it's a misunderstanding? Kill them all. The tree demons blocked Pill Valley's flying boats and attacked. Charge through. We can't let Long San escape ordered the various experts. They knew that Long San was just one person, and it would be easy for him to slip away in the chaos. This was his best chance to get away. If they allowed him to get away, they would all be doomed. Suddenly, runes lit up on the flying boats, and huge pillars of flame shot out. The flame pillars blew through any of the tree demons in front of them. Each one of these attacks was the result of over 10 life star experts working together with the flying boat's formation. They killed hundreds of the tree demons in just a moment. All the flying boats charged through, but their expressions changed. Long San had vanished. After the explosion of the flying boat, the sea of flames had spread even further, and Long San had vanished amongst it all. There are no spatial fluctuations, so he didn't use a teleportation talisman. He can't have gotten far. He's definitely hiding underground. We an elder was about to order them to dig up the ground when it exploded. And vines shot out at him. These vines were incredibly thick. They were like a fiend's tentacles. Not good. 
It's the evil ghost creeper. The expression on one of the elders completely changed. This was an extremely terrifying life form. Its body was composed of vines, and it spent its days devouring the flesh of magical beasts. More and more vines came out of the ground, covering the sky. Although it was just a few tentacles, they were so huge that it sparked disbelief. Activate the flame shield. All the flying boats runes lit up again, forming a huge flame barrier that protected them. Senior of the heaven devouring forest. My pill valley is innocent in this. It's just a misunderstanding. We came to capture. One of the divine guards cried out, trying to explain. This was all caused by Long San. He had actually left the blame to them. This was incredibly aggravating. Boom. However, the evil ghost creeper didn't give him any chance to explain. Its vines wrapped around all the flying boats. The barriers around the flying boats began to crack. All of Pill Valley's experts' expressions changed. The evil ghost creeper was even stronger than they had expected. The 18 divine guards. If you don't fight back, we won't be able to last. Cried an elder. Their barrier was on the verge of collapsing. Senior. This is just a misunderstanding one of the divine guards was still trying to explain. However, the evil ghost creeper wasn't listening. Its power grew greater and greater. These would brained idiots. You can't explain anything to them. Hurry and kill them, or Long San will get away. Cursed an elder. Although their cultivation bases weren't as high as the divine guards and their actual combat power was far weaker, because they were alchemists, they didn't need to be courteous to them. Fine, then I can only offend you. The divine guards could only strike back. Although this would make them fall for Long San's scheme, they had no choice. Brahma Divine Ring. The 18 guards formed hand seals, and chanting filled the air. A huge ring of light formed between the 18 of them and then rapidly spread. With the 18 of them working together, the vines binding them were all blown away. At this time, Long Chen was scurrying away underground like a mouse. Sharp light came out of his sword, making a path for him. He didn't dare to appear outside, and he also suppressed his aura as much as possible. As he dug underground, no one sensed him. Within this region, all the ancient trees had been turned to ashes and killed. Even when he encountered roots, the actual trees had died so there was no danger. Pill Valley's experts were confident they could catch up to him. That was because flame cultivators had sharp senses for each other. Since flame cultivators all had core flames, they wanted to rely on this sense to find Long Chen. However, they didn't know that Long Chen didn't have a core flame. His flame energy came from Huo Long. Long Chen could use the flame energy and then simply send Huo Long back to the primal chaos space, and there wouldn't be any flame aura left on him to sense. Not being able to sense his aura had made Pill Valley's experts panic which was another reason they had charged out of the tree demon's barrier without caring about the price. The ground exploded. The true body of the evil ghost creeper appeared. It was a body of thistles and thorns that was even larger than a mountain noveloon.com. Furthermore, there wasn't just one. Dozens of them appeared at once. They instantly sealed the path of the Pill Valley's experts. Pill Valley, you've always cursed us for being wood-headed idiots. We've had enough. Today. We'll settle all our debts. The terrifying voice rang through the air like thunder. This voice came from one of the evil ghost creepers. And when the divine guard saw that evil ghost creeper, their expressions all changed. As for Long Chen, he was already far in the distance. Borrowing the flying sand and rocks from their battle, he flew away. Yes, you're right. They always curse you like that. I'll testify to that. Fight. Kill these bastards. I'm cheering for you in spirit. Long Chen praised the evil ghost creeper inside. He hadn't expected things to go so smoothly. It seemed that the heaven devouring forest and Pill Valley had both disliked each other for a long time. Their resentment had slowly accumulated over all this time, and with him as the spark, a blazing conflict immediately ignited. Rumbling rang out behind him. A world-shaking battle had begun. Chapter 1382 Shaking the entire world translator. Born to be Grand Elders. A report has come saying that the 18 Divine Guards are urgently requesting reinforcements. An emergency has occurred in the heaven-devouring forest. What Pill Valley instantly became chaotic again. 
They didn't know how chasing after Long San had caused them to end up in a fight to the death with the heaven-devouring forest. Send out my orders. All experts are to gather and attack the heaven-devouring forest. Bring the Danite furnace, as well as the Brahma Divine Diagram. With the Brahma Divine Diagram, it's impossible for a flame cultivator to escape all the experts in Pill Valley were gathered, including those who had been injured by the Aldevil monster. They all got onto flying boats and rushed over to the heaven-devouring forest. Pill Valley's experts had moved out in full force. They had been enraged to even bring out two divine items. Outsiders had no chance to witness that battle, but the rumor was that the heaven-devouring forest had almost been annihilated, and an area of millions of miles had been turned into Scarlet Land. As for Pill Valley, apparently they had suffered quite a bit too. Some terrifying existences within the heaven-devouring forest had attacked, and even with two divine items, Pill Valley's victory was not completely one-sided. Over a hundred of Pill Valley's life star experts had been slain. As for soul transformation experts, there was no way to keep track of the casualties. In the end, this battle had disturbed the valley master who had just returned to seclusion. He had been forced to appear in order to suppress the battlefield. The misunderstanding was finally resolved, but resolving it now didn't have any meaning. Pill Valley had lost so many experts, while the heaven-devouring forest's territory had been scorched, their life forms annihilated, their habitable territory had shrunk by a third. With the Valley Master present, the terrifying existences in the heaven-devouring forest had also appeared in the open. Both sides had agreed to mind their own business in the future. However, Pill Valley's higher-ups were incredibly vexed. They had clearly come to capture Long San, but instead of capturing him, they had ended up in a fight against the heaven-devouring forest. This battle had been miserable. Moreover, even after using the Brahma Divine Diagram, they were unable to find Long San. That made them depressed. The Brahma Divine Diagram was a powerful divine item whose range could spread for millions of miles. As long as someone possessed a pill flame, there was no way for them to escape from its senses. But Long San had vanished mysteriously. This powerful divine item had been unable to find him, and there was no way he could have left its range in such a short amount of time. There was only one possibility. Long San had died. According to their hypothesis, he probably hadn't accurately calculated the self-destruction of the flying boat, and so he had been blown apart in the explosion. A flying boat of this level was comparable to an ancestral item. Its core contained a powerful formation, and if it exploded, its power would kill even life star experts who were on it. Long San's death wasn't what they cared about. The main thing was that he had held all of Pill Valley's wealth on him. That wealth had been accumulated for tens of thousands of years. There had been countless treasures. Even the Valley Master's heart had bled upon hearing this. The most infuriating thing was that at this time, the photographic jades Long San had thrown out before his death reached his hands. The truth was instantly exposed. At that moment, the Valley Master had truly wanted to start a slaughter. All the experts who had seen him in that state had a deep impression of that time. There had been two parts to the photographic jades. One recorded the sinister plot in the Heaven Dragon Flame region while another contained the recording of Zhuo Shiang Xiang raising him step by step into a killing machine to be used against the conservative faction. At that time, the Valley Master's expression had been ashen, but he hadn't killed anyone. Instead, he had only left behind a single sentence. Just wait for when I come out of seclusion. The Valley Master was at a critical moment in his cultivation, and he couldn't bring out his true body. He could only send out clones. His meaning was clear. Once he was out of seclusion, he would properly settle his debts with these people. Once the Valley Master left, the Radical Faction's elders all looked like they had aged a decade. They were listless. As for the Conservative Faction's elders, they were enraged, and they ordered the people of the Radical Faction to get to work. They ordered them to go over every inch of the battlefield until they found Long San's spatial ring. That was nothing more than bossing them around. Even the best spatial ring was only on the level of a king item. How could it survive the explosion of a flying boat? Long San wasn't a life star expert. He didn't have his own astral space to store things. So treasures had to be placed in his spatial ring. 
Having been unable to protect his own life, how could Long San have had the power to protect the spatial ring? It had to have shattered, and the treasures would have been lost in the chaotic flow of space and disintegrated. Having them search was just to torment them, who had asked their sinister plot to end in such abject failure. They could only be tormented now. They were like a group of prisoners on death row, just waiting for their execution. And their execution date was the day the Valley Master came out of seclusion. As for the battle between Pill Valley and the Heaven Devouring Forest, Pill Valley had already ordered everyone to shut their mouths and not to talk about it to outsiders. However, how could it be possible to keep something like this secret? Pill Valley's losses numbered in the tens of thousands, and the majority of people had been secretly recording the fight. That was their pride and glory. For ordinary people like them to have experienced something so amazing, they would definitely need proof so that they could brag. That was why Pill Valley's gag order was essentially useless. On just the third day, news of the battle spread. This news didn't actually come from within Pill Valley, but from some travelers who had been sneaking their way through the Heaven Devouring Forest. The Heaven Devouring Forest was just too huge and some travelers had no choice but to take the danger of sneaking their way through it. They didn't dare to fly through as brazenly as Pill Valley. Instead, they concealed their auras and traveled like thieves. That gave them a very high chance of getting through the forest safely. That was especially true of those with low cultivation bases. The battle between Pill Valley and the Heaven Devouring Forest had been witnessed by them, and they were the ones who unleashed the first wave of news. Countless photographic jades spread with recordings of the battle from the distance. Very quickly, the second wave of photographic jades spread. Those were much clearer with the first-person view of the battlefield. The entire world was shaken. Everyone went all out to investigate what had happened. And as a result, the name Long San quickly shook the world. He became the focus of the entire world. A Jade Core disciple had almost caused the destruction of the incredibly powerful Pill Valley. Hundreds of Life Star experts had been killed, and it was impossible to count the casualties of the Soul Transformation experts. Four Rank 9 Celestials had even been conned to death. Moreover, he had plundered the Thousand Treasure Pavilion, even taking the Essence Blood and Soul Essence from that terrifying monster that had required the Valley Master to kill. He had then single-handedly killed his way out of Pill Valley, and with the 18 Divine Guards on his heels. He ran toward the Heaven Devouring Forest and incited a huge battle between the Heaven Devouring Forest and Pill Valley. Each one of these things was huge. Each one of them could shake the world. However, Long San had done them all. Although he had died, his name was remembered by the world. In many people's hearts, Long San was a legend. Other so-called heavenly geniuses were garbage compared to Long San. Due to their great emotion. A saga of the great hero Long San was passed down. Great heroes are born on the martial heaven continent. The true dragon rises arrogantly above all. Unrivaled divine power shatters heaven and earth. A power that looks down on all others. Nowadays, mediocrity is everywhere. People think themselves amazing without realizing others are laughing at them. The divine valley and ghost forest are still present. But the master Long San of that time has vanished. Once Long Chen was in the forest, he slowed down and suppressed his aura. He spread his spiritual perception as far as possible to avoid running into any terrifying existences. The battle behind him grew more and more intense, but he was in no mood to watch. Every now and then, he would have to pause and conceal himself, because terrifying tree demons were rushing over from every direction. He only continued when the danger passed. After a couple of hours, he was only able to sense the earth quivering slightly. He couldn't hear any more voices. Only at that time did he start increasing his speed. He finally saw sunlight again after three days. The exit of the heaven devouring forest was right in front of him. Boom. Seeing the exit, he suddenly tore the root of a large tree out and fled. He tossed the root into the primal chaos space. The calm forest instantly became enraged. The trees were woken from their slumber and huge branches whistled toward Long Chen. He, there's no need to send me off. Thanks for everything. Long Chen used the lightning body blink to disappear. He was already out of the forest. The tree he had attacked was on the very edge of the forest and was not a true tree demon. Most likely, it hadn't completely matured and was unable to move. 
As a result, he easily escaped. Ha ha ha. I, Master Long, am finally free. Long Chen rushed away. He had long since changed his appearance and his robes. Now he was completely safe. He was ecstatic. His con of Pill Valley had gone perfectly. Now no one would be able to stop him from rising. It felt like he was a beggar who had instantly become an emperor. He wouldn't lack medicinal pills ever again. After half a day's flight, he arrived in a city, paying a slight toll. He sat through several transportation formations and finally arrived at the eastern Xuan region. Here, he was fully at ease. No matter how amazing Pill Valley was, there was no way they would be able to track him down here. Finding a decent hotel, he asked for a room. He needed to take a look at his gains this time. Chapter 1383 Checking the Spoils Translator Born to be after surviving a calamity, there will definitely be a great fortune. He, I'm definitely rich now. Long Chen cackled maniacally in his private room. He seemed almost insane. This was a hotel of the cultivation world, and its rooms were made for cultivators. They all possessed private seclusion rooms and spirit stone formations. These rooms could simply be lived in, or they could be used for cultivating. How regretful. For some reason, those tree demons refused to grow in here. This was the only thing Long Chen felt some regret about. When he had tossed the remnants of the tree demons into the primal chaos space, they hadn't come back to life. Instead, the primal chaos space had absorbed them and turned them into life energy to nourish itself. It was just like the black soil had devoured them. Long Chen couldn't explain it. Then he supposed that those tree demons were not ordinary trees. They were capable of cultivating. Perhaps the primal chaos space viewed them as magical beasts and simply devoured them. This didn't ruin his perfect mood. On the edge of the primal chaos space, he arrived at an open space. There were a bunch of shelves piled up here. These were the medicinal pills and ingredients he had plundered from Pill Valley. But there were so many that he needed to spend a long time organizing them. In another region, there were two huge mountains. One was a mountain formed of chains filled with thunder force, while another was formed of divine flame crystals. Lai Long and Huo Long were on their own mountains, crazily absorbing thunder force and flame energy. The blazing dragon cauldron was also absorbing the energy of the divine flame crystals. Long Chen could sense its power rapidly recovering. He opened up a bottle in the primal chaos space. A terrifying blood chi instantly charged out, causing space to shake. He hastily covered it again. He was shocked by its power. That Aldevil monster's essence blood is actually so powerful. What he had opened was the bottle containing the Aldevil monster's essence blood. The amount of energy inside it was terrifying. He supposed that made sense. At first, it hadn't used its real power most likely to draw over more experts. It had been extremely crafty. If it started out too strong, it would scare them away. So he intentionally gave them hope in an attempt to annihilate them. But in the end, it had underestimated Pill Valley. It had been annihilated by the Valley Master. Perhaps I can use this. Long Chen suddenly had a thought and slowly absorbed a drop of the essence blood. As soon as it entered his body, his 108,000 scales appeared on his body, and divine light shone. That drop of essence blood was instantly vaporized. What domineering dragon blood. Despite not being as strong as this blood, it used its divine might to eradicate it. Right now, he had cultivated the green dragon battle armor to its peak. But it clearly wasn't worth mentioning when compared to that Aldevil monster. However, when he tried to absorb the essence blood, the dragon might was provoked. It seemed to hate Long Chen's actions and directly destroyed the essence blood. The dragon, the emperor of all beasts. It stood at the peak and refused to be blasphemed. Fine, this essence blood has no destiny with me, sighed Long Chen. However, now he suddenly thought of a white scale located in the depths of the eastern sea. It was the azure dragon reverse scale. With my current power, would I be able to subdue it? Wondered Long Chen. Then he shook his head. He had a kind of intuition that the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale wasn't so easy to subdue. Back when he had seen it, he hadn't even been able to get through its barrier. Furthermore, he had sensed strong hostility from it. It was different from the Green Dragon Reverse Scale. The Azure Dragon Reverse Scale seemed to possess its own independent will. 
It wouldn't bend to another person's will so easily. If he wanted to subdue it, it would be impossible without absolute power. The green dragon was the first infant form of a true dragon. They were children to the dragon race. However, the azure dragon was the true dragon's second form. They shed their green color to mature. This was a phrase left behind by the dragon race. The human race adapted that phrase, saying that people were green when they were inexperienced. But the general meaning was the same. It meant to lose one's immaturity and become a true expert. Just the green dragon's power was able to eradicate the Aldevil monster's essence blood. From this, it could be deduced just how powerful the Azure Dragon reverse scale would be. Sensing the power of the essence blood in the bottle, Long Chen smiled. This would be enough for all the dragon blood warriors to bathe in. I can't use it, but it can strengthen the dragon blood warriors. Once I have an opportunity to study it, I'll refine it into pills and make them ascend. Long Chen naturally wouldn't make them directly absorb this essence blood. That was no different from suicide for them. Even Gu Yang wasn't an exception for that. He had to refine it into pills first to reduce its berserk power. That wasn't difficult for him. He placed it to the side. He'd handle that when he had time. He took out the second bottle that contained the Aldevil monster's soul essence. After slaying it, the Valley Master had only left behind the purest soul essence. This is perfect for me right now. Heaven flipping seal. You can be revived. Long Chen took out a cyan brick. This was the pillow the divine fetus had been lying on in Devil Spirit Mountain. Back then, the heaven-splitting divine tablet had told him that it was the heaven-flipping seal, and an extremely powerful existence at that. But its item spirit was dead, so it needed a new item spirit. Within Long Chen's pill sovereign memories, there was a technique that could do this. It was the Nine Heavens 10,000 Life Spirit Technique. It was normally used to impart spirituality on a pill but it could be used for creating an item spirit as well. Long Chen hadn't used it yet because it was useless. Giving birth to a new item spirit was easy, but raising that item spirit would be difficult. For a newborn item spirit to gain its own mind would require thousands or tens of thousands of years. Waiting 10,000 years was impossible for Long Chen. His original plan was to find a corrupt life star expert with powerful spiritual strength and refine their soul into a spirit seed and then inject it into the heaven-flipping seal. Unexpectedly, Pill Valley had been so kind as to give the Aldevil monster soul to him. He wouldn't stand on courtesy. He opened the bottle and released the seal. Vast soul energy soared into the sky. An illusory figure appeared, one with the same shape as the Aldevil monster. As soon as it appeared, it roared and a violent will erupted. Although it had no consciousness, its instincts were to destroy everything. HMPH, this isn't a place you can show off. Divine Might suddenly crashed down within the primal chaos space. The illusory figure was still roaring when it suddenly curled up in terror and began to shiver. After advancing to the Jade Core Realm, I'm finally able to control a tiny bit of the primal chaos space's power. Long Chen smiled. The primal chaos space had grown after he had advanced, and his soul had formed a mysterious connection with it. He could use a bit of its power to suppress everything within the primal chaos space. Once he used it, this fierce monster was like a tiny rabbit that could only shiver. Spirit of the Nine Heavens, the Law of Ten Thousand, the Peak of Life, the End of Death. As Long Chen chanted, an invisible energy enveloped the Aldevil monster's spiritual body. It was originally milky white, but as he chanted, its body became clear. At the same time, its violent aura gradually faded until it was just like a ball of clear water without the slightest impurities. The cycle of life and death. Return to the beginning. Let life be born. 10,000 life spirit technique. A small light appeared in the clear spiritual body. It was like an egg. There was a small fetus within the egg. The fetus was the same shape of the Aldevil monster, but compressed a million times. Using the 10,000 life spirit technique. Long Chen first erased its violent and dark side before giving birth to a new soul. Countless runes began to flow into it. Condense Long Chen suddenly shouted. A rune lit up on the heaven flipping seal, and it devoured all the soul essence and the fetus. Once all of that energy was devoured by the heaven flipping seal, that rune on top of it vanished. 
Only then did Long Chen bring his mind out of the primal chaos space. He took a deep breath and wiped off some sweat. He felt like his head was about to split open. Using the 10,000 life spirit technique to make the Aldevil monster soul undergo a complete rebirth was definitely forcing his current limits. It had taken a huge amount of soul energy on his part. After resting a bit, his headache faded. He once more entered the primal chaos space. It was time to flip through the medicines. Chaos Star Fire Thorn Grass. Heavenly Fragrance Fig. Azure Phoenix Bitterroot Long Chen was constantly picking out the medicinal ingredients that he needed from the shelves. In the end, he had over a hundred of them. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Now I can start planting them, and then I'll be able to refine the Divine Gate Pill. Long Chen laughed and got to work on a new medicinal field. Chapter 1384 News of the Zhuanshan Dao Sect Translator Born to be the runes of the Blazing Dragon Cauldron Lit Up Nine small life forms were lit up by the runes and transformed into nine medicinal pills. The pills shone like jade, and their bodies emitted their own light. They were all top-grade pills, delighting Long Chen. When the heaven incinerating flame is combined with the blazing dragon cauldron, it's practically a perfect match. I just need to refine it once, and they'll remember the process and refine their own divine gate pills that aren't much inferior to my own. Seeing the nine divine gate pills in the cauldron, Long Chen felt a burst of joy. After gathering and mass planting the medicinal ingredients, it had only taken three days in the primal chaos space for them to fully mature. Long Chen found that his current connection with the primal chaos space had grown stronger. As long as he had enough spiritual yuan, he could make the plants inside grow at a much faster rate. These medicinal ingredients that would normally require thousands of years to mature had only taken three days under his efforts. The price was that all the energy in his 108,000 stars had been sucked dry. Fortunately, the medicinal ingredients weren't like huge trees, and the amount of energy they required was limited. If he had filled the entire primal chaos with these medicinal ingredients, there was no way his spiritual yuan would have been enough to make them grow this fast. And if he had planted trees everywhere instead, with his little bit of spiritual yuan, it would be like watering a desert with a single drop of water. Long Chen still didn't know much about the primal chaos space, but he guessed that it was deeply connected to the nine star hegemon body art. In this world, no matter who it was, there was no way they would be able to cultivate the nine star hegemon body art. Just the amount of medicinal ingredients required would bankrupt countless sects. Even Pill Valley wouldn't be able to handle such a cost. It could be said that without the primal chaos bead, he wouldn't have his current accomplishments. This mysterious bead that came from the Jiuli secret realm had given him his ability to soar. With the primal chaos space, as long as he had seeds of the medicinal ingredients, he could grow them limitlessly. However, even with a limitless amount of ingredients, he couldn't waste so much of his precious time on refining pills. Fortunately, now he had Huo Long and the Blazing Dragon Cauldron working together. He didn't even need to refine them personally. Work hard, you too. Long Chen patted the Blazing Dragon Cauldron. The Blazing Dragon Cauldron sent Long Chen a spiritual message. It was extremely grateful to him. It had its own mind, and although its item spirit wasn't able to form words, it could express its emotions. From the day it had been born, it had been used like a tool like a slave, forced to constantly refine pills. Ever since his first master passed away, his descendants had placed slave marks on it, enslaving it generation after generation. However, Long Chen had treated it differently. He hadn't placed a slave mark, nor had he restricted it in any other way. It could clearly sense Long Chen's trust. This was something it had never felt in all its years. Ancestral items had their own spirits and their own emotions. Long Chen's magnanimity had formed a resonance with it. On Devil Spirit Mountain, it had seen Bloodrinker self-destruct to help him and stop itself from holding him back. It had erupted in a final burst of light. This had deeply shaken the Blazing Dragon Cauldron. This was Long Chen's charisma. Even an item spirit was willing to follow him into death. Long Chen smiled. He understood its message. Trust had to be mutual. Sometimes, there was no need for oaths or words. With the Blazing Dragon Cauldron and Huo Long refining pills, 
Long Chen's mind exited the primal chaos space. He took out a divine gate pill and swallowed it. It instantly dissolved once it entered his mouth. Instead of flowing down his throat, it instead went toward his head. Divine light appeared in his mind sea and condensed into a divine gate. At the center of the gate was a huge vortex. The pill's energy poured into it. At the center of the vortex was a small ball of light. That was the core of the divine gate star. However, it was still in an extremely primordial state, more like a ball of primal chaos. There was still a great distance from being fully formed, let alone going through the nine star transformations. A single divine gate pill was like a speck of dust to the divine gate star. It didn't change at all. Fine, I understand. Long Chen bitterly smiled. He sent over a hundred nuloi refined divine gate pills into his mouth. The pills all instantly dissolved and entered his mind sea. They contained a kind of energy similar to spiritual strength, which was extremely strange. This time, Long Chen finally saw a glimmer of hope. A hundred divine gate pills had finally made the divine gate star brighten slightly. However, it truly was just ever so slightly. If he hadn't been paying close attention, he wouldn't have been able to sense the change at all. Fine, I know what I have to do, sighed Long Chen. The Divine Gate Star was even greedier than what he had expected. With his past experience, he knew condensing the star was the fastest part, but over a hundred pills had only changed it ever so slightly. He knew he would have to eat Divine Gate pills like food in the future. Fortunately, he had Huo Long and the Blazing Dragon Cauldron, or there was no way he would be able to refine pills all day. There was still a long path for him to walk in the future, and he didn't have time. The thing that comforted him was that after a hundred divine gate pills were consumed, he sensed a change in the Feng Fu, Aliath, Life Fate, and Enlightenment Palace stars. Could it be? Could it be the divine gate star has a subtle connection to the first four stars? The four stars became complete when I advanced to see expansion, and each of them has a chi C beneath them. Now the fifth star is in my mind C. Is there some secret between their connection? Long Chen suddenly thought of a possibility. When he had opened the divine gate, he had sensed a change in the four stars, but he hadn't really bothered with it. However, now he realized that as the divine gate star advanced, the other four stars seemed to be undergoing some unknown transformation. He shook his head. He knew far too little about the nine star hegemon body art. There were many things he couldn't figure out about it and so he directly gave up wasting energy on trying to figure it out. Long Chen changed his disguise once more. Right now, he still couldn't face people as Long Chen. After all, many people knew that he was in the Zhuanshan Tower and trying to suppress the curse. That was the cover Li Xiang Xuan had made for him. It was to mislead everyone, making them feel like Long Chen would die at any moment under the encroachment of the Underworld Soul Ghost Curse. When he left the hotel, he found a mid-sized restaurant. He sat at a table near the window and ordered some food and wine. As he ate, he listened to the gossip around him. This restaurant couldn't count as luxurious. Instead, it was very ordinary, and the people who entered were mostly at the Xi'anshan realm or below. There were all kinds of people. Some were already drunk and laughing loudly. Some were bragging as if they had saved the world. And some were whispering quietly. What Long Chen wanted to hear was news of Pill Valley and the Heaven Devouring Forest. Of course, that included the main character in that battle, Master Long San. There was one fellow who was helping him out quite a bit. He eloquently described the scene of that battle as if he had really been there. Even Long Chen was dumbfounded as he listened, almost believing him. This person also knew how to con people. According to him, Master Long San was a god and the Aldevil monster had become his mound. Riding the monster, he had caused chaos in Pill Valley, even disturbing the Valley Master. Apparently, Master Long San had even injured the Valley Master at that time. His story was so far from reality that it was clear it was just his imagination. However, there was a group of people listening intently. Occasionally, they would buy some wine for the speaker. That person bragged as he drank. Long Chen was speechless and couldn't bear listening any longer. He focused on others. Pill Valley's matter is shaking the entire continent. The name of Master Long San is probably going to go down in history within a corner where two men quietly chatting. True. 
that Long San really was terrifying. He actually managed to half destroy Pill Valley and the heaven devouring forest. He didn't die for nothing. I thought that our eastern Xuan region would only have a single rising star in the form of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's Long Chen. But compared to Master Long San, Long Chen's light had been drowned out. You can't put it that way. Master Long San might be terrifying, but he's already died, and he's fated to just become part of history. But Long Chen is still very powerful. I saw the recording of him fighting the Corrupt Paths Rank 9 Celestial on Devil Spirit Mountain. It really was a world-shaking battle that made my blood heat up. Regretfully, he's been afflicted with the Corrupt Paths curse and it seems his situation in the Zhuangshan Dao sect isn't very good. After all, that Gui Yan sacrificed the lives of so many soul transformation experts and the longevity of life star experts to back the curse. Even the Zhuangshan Tower isn't able to suppress it. I heard that people have completely surrounded the Zhuangshan Dao sect, and whenever their disciples go out, they will be mocked and cursed. As for the Dragon Blood Legion's people, they refuse to come out, instead acting like turtles in their shells. It's very likely that Long Chen has reached his limit. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. They had surrounded the Zhuangshan Dao sect? Good. He wanted to see just who was so brazen. It seemed some more fruit would be appearing on his heavenly Dao tree. Last time, four heavenly geniuses had been killed, and four rank nine heavenly Dao fruits had appeared on the heavenly Dao tree. That signified four new rank nine celestials were about to appear in the Dragon Blood Legion. Long Chen knew that the reason the Dragon Blood Legion hadn't gone out was definitely because of Li Xiangxuan's orders. It was to create the illusion that he was in grave peril. It was to win more time for him. He continued listening for a while. All that people were discussing was news of Pill Valley and Master Long San. Since Pill Valley thought that Long San was dead, Long Chen was at ease, paying for his food. Long Chen patted his butt and directly got onto the Eastern Xuan City's transportation formation. It was time to let the world see that Master Long Chen was definitely not inferior to Master Long San. Chapter 1385 Which is Harder? My Fist or Your Life? Translator. Born to be there was a large mass of experts gathered in front of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's gates. No one would be able to enter or leave without getting past them. These people were all very young. The majority looked to be in their twenties, and their cultivation bases had reached the Jade Core realm. These disciples' robes were all different. Some were wearing ordinary robes, while some were wearing robes of their sects. Some were men and some were women, and they were all staring at the front. At the front was a group of hundreds of experts wearing robes of the ancient family alliance. Their leader was precisely the rank 9 celestial that Meng Chi had almost killed last time, Luo Mingheo. Last time, Luo Mingheo had almost been slain by Cloud when he was caught off guard. In the end, he had relied on a teleportation talisman to get away. The results of their battle had filled Luo Mingheo with rage. He viewed it as his greatest humiliation. So he had come again to challenge Meng Chi. However, Meng Chi refused to come out. In fact, not a single person acknowledged his existence. When he had erupted into curses, the Zhuangshan Dao sect had kicked him out for his rudeness. He was unable to swallow his fury at losing to Meng Chi, and he also didn't dare to be reckless in the Zhuangshan Dao sect that was why he had brought a group of Jade Core disciples. With the excuse that this was an exchange of pointers amongst disciples, the Zhuangshan Dao sect wouldn't have a reason to suppress them with power. After being kicked out of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, Luo Mingheo had blocked the entrance to the Zhuangshan Dao sect. He and his group of ancient family disciples were constantly cursing the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. The higher ups of the Zhuangshan Dao sect had sent out orders to ignore them. Once Long Chen recovered, he would naturally put them in their places. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples stopped going out. They did their best to avoid them. This was fine for inner and outer sect disciples. But the workers often needed to go out to hunt down magical beasts or gather medicinal ingredients for resources. The Zhuangshan Dao sect had said that they were to not go out, and any of their lost wages would be compensated with double the amount. However, some of the workers and outer sect disciples had already been outside when these people had sealed the entrance. Oftentimes, disciples would spend over 10 days outside. Some would spend several months outside before returning. 
They had left before Luo Minghao had arrived, but when they returned, the path was blocked. They refused to let them return. When the disciples showed the slightest resistance, they would beat them and heavily injure them. Luo Minghao was very sinister. His people blocked the path, and if anyone tried to charge past, one of his people would pretend to be knocked down and shout that someone had attacked him. Then they would attack and beat that person. It was despicable to the peak. Yet, the Zhuangshan Dao sect maintained its silence, making the outside world believe that something had happened to Long Chen. Otherwise, with his character, there was no way he would hide like this. As a result, Luo Minghao became even more arrogant, and under Pill Valley's urging, more and more sects sent their elite disciples to keep watch over the Zhuangshan Dao sect. The sects that the Zhuangshan Dao sect had obstructed before all sent their elite disciples over. This was their way of humiliating the Zhuangshan Dao sect last time. Pill Valley and the ancient races had been forced to leave dejectedly, and their life star experts had been slain. They had become laughing stocks. This time, they naturally wouldn't give up this opportunity to throw stones on them while they were down. Now, they were smart. Luo Minghao was the main character, and they were just watching the fun. However, this was humiliating enough. During the past few days especially, quite a few disciples had mocked the Zhuangshan Dao sect for having no warriors, other than Long Chen. Could it be that no one could come out to fight? Some people also questioned whether or not Long Chen had died. If he had, then the Zhuangshan Dao sect should hurry up and release the news so that everyone could celebrate. Some of them even said more disgusting things, things that made the Zhuangshan Dao sect's people clench their teeth in fury. Today, another worker who was returning from outside was blocked. After going around one person, he accidentally knocked down someone else. He was given a vicious beating. That worker was only at the Xianshan realm, while the attacker was a Jade Core Rank 8 Celestial. That worker didn't have the slightest power to resist. The rank 8 celestial controlled himself properly. The worker continuously coughed up blood, but he didn't pass out, nor was there danger to his life. Idiot. Is everyone in the Zhuangshan Dao sect a coward? They only know how to hide inside the Zhuangshan Dao sect and don't even dare to stick out their heads, sneered the rank 8 celestial. He intentionally spoke loudly to transmit his voice throughout the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Thousands of Jade Core disciples who came from various large sects all smiled mockingly. This scene was something they were accustomed to seeing now. There were also hundreds of ancient race disciples smiling sinisterly. Last time, the Zhuangshan Dao sect had caused the ancient races to lose face. That humiliation was something they would never forget. Seeing the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples be tormented gave them a wicked pleasure. The worker was once more beaten, and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. He looked like he was on the verge of dying. Doesn't Long Chen think himself to be so amazing? Then why doesn't he come out and fight? He's just a coward, shouted the rank 8 celestial. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. He's not a coward. He's an unrivaled hero. You're the trash. The worker didn't have much life within him but he still struggled, using his final bit of energy to roar. Damn worker, you think you're tough. Ha! Huh? Die. The rank 8 celestial hadn't expected an insignificant Xianchen worker to contradict him. He punched him again, this time with fury. He no longer held back. If struck, it would definitely kill him. The worker just stared coldly at the rank 8 celestial. There was no way for him to block this fist, rather than fear. This killing blow made his back stand up straighter. He knew that he would die. But before he died, he wouldn't allow others to insult that godlike existence in front of him. Pow. Suddenly, a hand caught the fist. A black-robed man appeared in front of the worker. Long. Long Chen. The worker's voice trembled. Long Chen's gaze was icy cold. He looked like a demon king from hell. Icily staring at the rank 8 celestial. What did you just say? You want to fight me? Come, let's fight. I, I, the rank 8 celestial felt like he had fallen into an iceberg. It was like a death god was staring at him. His voice shuddered, and he wasn't even able to speak. Long Chen's appearance shocked everyone. The distant Luo Minghao instantly jumped out of his chair. Everyone had thought Long Chen was already dead, or at the very least, on his deathbed struggling against the curse. His appearance came as a complete surprise. 
Cracking sounds suddenly rang out. Everyone was horrified to see the rank 8 celestial collapse on the ground. All his bones broken. Not only were his bones broken, but his Nidan had been shattered. His spiritual Yuan now began to escape out of his body and into the world. He had been turned into a cripple. A powerful rank 8 Jade Core Celestial didn't even have the slightest ability to fight against Long Chen. He could only lay on the ground, wailing. Junior brother, that was a good showing. Long Chen gave the worker a medicinal pill. The worker wept tears of gratitude. Having been called brother by Long Chen, he felt like even death was worth it. I still remember how he humiliated you. You can get your humiliation back. Not avenging enmity. Repaying enmity with kindness. That's not our style. Within the merciless cultivation world, using power is the most effective method. Long Chen patted his shoulder. Can. Can I really? The worker was still afraid. Not daring to attack. The brothers of I. Long Chen. Can do anything. Don't make me look down on you. Long Chen frowned. All right. The disciple swallowed Long Chen's pill and fully recovered instantly. He directly kicked the former rank 8 celestial. Bastards. You pfft. Someone in the ground was about to speak up against them when a bolt of lightning pierced through his body, killing him instantly. No one is allowed to randomly fart in front of me. If you don't want to die, keep your farts inside your mouth said Long Chen coldly. At this time, the worker of the Zhuanshan Dao sect had kicked that person a dozen times. Finally, his kick caused the rank 8 celestial's head to explode, and the sound of screaming came to an end. Just at this moment, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's gates opened, and countless familiar figures appeared in front of Long Chen's eyes. Meng Qi, Tang Wanur, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Song Mingguan, Li Qi, Hua Xiaoyu, Wang Zhen, and the others were all present. Meng Qi and Tang Wanur were smiling tearfully. Dragon Blood Legion, hear my orders. Kill them all. Seeing those familiar faces, Long Chen felt a grand feeling, and he roared. Kill. Following Long Chen's order, the Dragon Blood Legion's warriors roared as well, taking out their weapons and charging at the disciples who had come to watch the fun. In truth, they had long since been filled with fury, but the Xuan Master had ordered them not to do anything in order to keep up the appearance that Long Chen was on his deathbed. Now that Long Chen had appeared, it was time to vent all their fury. They charged at these bastards that had humiliated them. Long Chen, you dare, roared Luo Mingheo. All the Dragon Blood Legion, all the Zhuanshan Dao sect's elite disciples were attacking. HMPH, what a huge joke. Is there anything in this world that I don't dare do? Long Chen sent the worker beside him to safety. All their humiliation had been caused by him, so he owed them all a debt. After sending that worker off, he charged toward Luo Mingheo. Today, I want to see which is harder, my fist or your life. Chapter 1386 The qualifications to be arrogant translator. Born to be people hadn't even recovered from their shock at Long Chen's arrival before the dragon blood warriors pounced on them. We just came to watch. Your Zhuanshan Dao sect is completely unreasonable cried those disciples. To watch? Fanning the flames. Insulting us with your evil tongues. Humiliating the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. This is just watching? Don't joke around. Dogs of Pill Valley. Let me tell you that by standing here, you have already become enemies of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. You want to talk reason? Why didn't you think about talking reason before when you were humiliating the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples? You bootlicking dregs. I already said that the Zhuanshan Dao sect is rising and that anyone who doesn't accept it can come and fight. I already gave you your warning, but you actually treated it as wind blowing past your ears. To blockade my Zhuanshan Dao sect and humiliate our disciples. Although you aren't killers, you're all accomplices, and killing you is only right, sneered Long Chen. He had already turned into a bolt of lightning shooting toward Luo Mingheo. Long Chen neither had any words for Luo Mingheo, nor did he give him time to talk. His fist smashed forward mercilessly Novaloon.com Long Chen. Don't be so arrogant. Even if you removed the curse and advanced to Jade Core, you're still nothing special. Luo Mingheo's aura surged, and he flew into the sky. Runes revolved in his eyes. His aura was much stronger than when he had fought Meng Chi and Cloud. What a joke. If I wasn't arrogant, would I still be Long Chen? 
sneered Long Chen. In front of me, you aren't qualified to be arrogant. Be suppressed. Luo Minghao spread his hands, and golden light shot out of his fingers. Ten golden lines intersected, forming a huge net that enveloped Long Chen. Last time, Luo Minghao had been careless, resulting in him almost being killed by Cloud. That didn't mean that he wasn't powerful, but that Cloud was too fast and had appeared too suddenly. As soon as he was caught off guard, he never had a chance to collect himself, so he hadn't been able to bring out his real power. He had only been able to flee. His defeat last time was his greatest humiliation. That was why as soon as Long Chen appeared now, he used his strongest magical art. These golden rays were incredibly tough. Once a person was caught, they would be unable to escape. Within the same realm, there had yet to be someone capable of escaping this golden net. A person who can suppress me hasn't been born yet. I hate people who are bigger braggarts than me the most. Long Chen let out a single punch. Ripple suddenly came out of his fist. The golden net was instantly pierced. Long Chen charged through a large hole that had appeared in it, completely unaffected. What Luo Minghao was stunned. This magical art was his most sinister attack. Its power was a soft one, not a hard one. No matter how much power you used, you would be unable to break the net. Instead, the net would instantly bind you. However, Long Chen's punch had contained some kind of power that had first condensed the space around the net. Only then had his punch landed. Normally, this net of his was extremely powerful. It was like a net that hung in the air. If you smashed it with a hammer, there was no way it would break. Yet, Long Chen had controlled his power perfectly. It was like he had placed the net on a rock and then smashed it with a hammer. He immediately broke open a large hole in it. After advancing to the Jade Core Realm and condensing the Divine Gate Star, Long Chen's control of his power had risen to a new level. He could use his power as he pleased. Seeing Long Chen's fist coming at him, Luo Minghao could only unleash his own punch. Golden runes covered his arm in an instant. Bang! The sky shook, and Luo Minghao was blown back. Large ripples appeared in the air, spreading in every direction. What? Luo Minghao was defeated with a single blow. The distant disciples were all shocked. Luo Minghao was a terrifying rank 9 celestial, but he had been blown away by a single punch. When had Long Chen reached such a powerful level? Within the Zhuangshan Dao sect, on the highest level of the Zhuangshan Tower, Li Xiangxuan, Lu Kang, and the Tower Department head were observing the battle. Lu Kang and the Tower Department head were both astonished. How did Long Chen's combat power rise so much just from advancing to the Jade Core Realm? Wondered Liu Kang. Li Xiangxuan smiled. That smile was full of confidence. Within the Zhuangshan Dao sect, only he knew Long Chen's secrets. No one else knew better than him just how terrifying Long Chen was. Even the death sentence which was the underworld soul ghost curse had been unable to take his life. In truth. Not even Liu Kang and the tower department head were aware that Long Chen had gone to Pill Valley. Only Li Xiangxuan had known of Long Chen's plan. Even Meng Qi and Tang Wan'er had only known a bit. Now that Long Chen had returned alive, it signified that he had already obtained the second volume of Nirvana scripture. He was going to soar like a comet, and that would cause the Zhuangshan Dao sect to soar as well. Thinking of this, Li Xiangxuan suddenly had a grand ambition to bring this generation of the Zhuangshan Dao sect to a height that surpassed its previous peak. Long Chen's attack struck first, but the Dragonblood Legion quickly followed. They didn't have any mercy on these people that had stood behind Luo Minghao and cheered him on in his humiliation of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. For the Zhuangshan Dao sect to willfully slaughter the innocent, are you trying to become enemies with the entire righteous path? Just at this moment, Life Star Experts appeared in the distance, rushing over. These Life Star Experts had been present the entire time. They were here on Pill Valley or the Ancient Race's orders to keep watch over every movement of the Zhuangshan Dao sect as soon as Long Chen appeared. He didn't give anyone any chance to explain. He directly started a slaughter. So these experts were forced to appear to save them. If any Life Star Experts step foot on this battlefield, they will be immediately executed. I, Long Chen, declare that anyone who dares to come forward today will be celebrating the anniversary of their death in one year's time. 
Long Chen turned to the Life Star experts rushing over. At this moment, the Zhuangshan Tower lit up, and the Divine Might enveloped the battlefield. Those Life Star experts' expressions immediately changed. The Zhuangshan Tower had been activated. Its light represented its domain. If they dared to take a single step inside that domain, they would definitely face its attack. Li Xiangxuan, have you gone mad? roared the Life Star experts. They were well aware of how terrifying the Zhuangshan Tower was. Once activated, they wouldn't have any chance of surviving. They had originally expected that sending their disciples to humiliate the Zhuangshan Dao sect would leave the Zhuangshan Dao sect powerless to do anything. As long as the disciples didn't attack the Zhuangshan Dao sect, the Zhuangshan Dao sect would have no excuse to do anything to them. However, as soon as Long Chen appeared, he started killing those disciples. He didn't talk reason at all. These disciples were the elites of their sects. They were all under a hundred years old and had already reached the Jade Core Realm. They were all qualified to attempt to reach the Life Star Realm. If they were killed, they would have lost a whole generation of their best disciples. Their sects had spent an enormous amount of resources on each one of these elites. If they died, it would be a serious blow to their cores. They might not recover for centuries. Right now, Long Chen has the authority to command the Zhuangshan Dao sect talking to me is useless. If you want to discuss things, you can discuss them with Long Chen. Li Xiangxuan's voice rang out from the sky. Bastard, are you not afraid of provoking the public's wrath and getting your Zhuangshan Dao sect annihilated roared a life star expert. A ray of light shot out from the Zhuangshan tower. That life star expert's expression changed. He wanted to run, but the space around him had frozen. He couldn't move and could only stare as that golden light blew him to pieces. Of course I'm afraid of the Zhuangshan Dao sect being annihilated. But before my Zhuangshan Dao sect is annihilated, we'll make sure to bring along countless other sects with us. So right now, instead of asking if I'm afraid, you should ask yourselves whether or not you're afraid. Li Xiangxuan's voice was as calm as ever, but it caused all their expressions to change. Li Xiangxuan's attitude was already very clear. Those who wanted to destroy the Zhuangshan Dao sect could come as they pleased. The Zhuangshan Dao sect would simply use the Zhuangshan Tower and Reincarnation Mirror to destroy them in turn. In the worst case, they would bring down all their attackers with them. Boom. An explosive sound suddenly rang out, drawing everyone's attention. Luo Mingheo's manifestation had appeared behind him. Astral winds raged and the space around him constantly twisted. On the other side, Long Chen's five-color divine ring was revolving. When the two of them unleashed their peak auras, it caused the clouds to change color. The two of them were standing in the air, their fists still locked. Luo Mingheo's entire body was covered in golden runes, making him look like a golden statue. He had pushed his power to its peak. As for Long Chen, his expression was indifferent. One hand was still behind his back. He only used a single hand to fight. Your power's not bad. However, it doesn't seem to be a good match for your arrogance. Do you have any stronger moves? If we compete in terms of power, I'll feel like I'm bullying you, said Long Chen. Although Luo Mingheo's current state was truly powerful, and when he entered this golden battle state his power was ten times greater than normal, his normal was just too low. Even if it increased by 10 times, it wasn't a match for the five-star battle armor. He was far too lacking when it came to power. Long Chen, since you want to die, I'll help you out. Luo Mingheo's expression twisted. He suddenly retreated and formed hand seals. He vomited a mouthful of blood. Chapter 1387 Ancestral Spirit Possession Translator Born to be the blood Luo Mingheo vomited out was caught by him and it strangely twisted together to form a serpent. Long Chen, since you want to die, I'll help you out. Luo Mingheo roared furiously, and the blood serpent transformed into chains that formed an image in the sky. This blood-colored image was that of a human. When that figure appeared, the world shook as a terrifying pressure descended. Ancestral spirit possession. Luo Mingheo let out a cry, and that figure merged into his body. A blood-colored mark appeared on his forehead. Luo Mingheo has actually been forced to this extent. He's igniting his own essence blood to summon his ancestor's spirit. Now Long Chen is in danger, said the tower department head gravely. He, 
Li Xiangxuan, and Liu Kang were able to see the battle clearly from the top floor of the Zhuangshan Tower. Liu Kang said, basically, every family from the ancient family alliance has a glorious inheritance. They offer sacrifices to their ancestor spirits to bless their geniuses. However, summoning the ancestral spirit comes at a huge price. Luo Mingheo has been forced to the point that he has no other choice. But I still don't think Long Chen is in danger. When it comes to Long Chen, no one knows his true power. He then hastily said, Tower Department Head, I'm not intentionally contradicting you. Please don't care about this. Ha ha ha, Lu Kang. You're no longer the Hell Master of the Elder Hall. Your rank is the same as mine. So you don't need to be so careful when speaking to me. Otherwise, wouldn't it make me seem intolerant? Laughed the Tower Department Head. For the Tower Department Head to laugh was something inconceivable to the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. In front of outsiders, he was always gloomy and strict. He was quite frightening. Xuan Master, why don't you also give us your view? Asked the Tower Department Head. Li Xiangxuan smiled. The only one in the Zhuanshan Dao sect who is not within my control is Long Chen. I would be a fool to waste time guessing anything about him. That's why I've already released Long Chen. Or perhaps I should say I've fully released the entire Zhuanshan Dao sect. What I said before wasn't to scare them. It was the truth. Whatever Long Chen wants is what we'll do. Seriously? Can we depend on him? Li Xiangxuan's words caused Liu Kang and the tower department head to jump in shock. What matters isn't whether or not he's dependable. The land beneath the heavens is like a chessboard. After playing for tens of thousands of years, the board has become completely chaotic, and Long Chen will add more chaos to the chaotic arrangement. The Zhuanshan Dao sect only has a bit of karmic luck left, and if we don't go all out, we'll simply slowly fade away like smoke in the end. I bet the Zhuanshan Dao sect's future on Long Chen a long time ago. This is a gamble. I bet that Long Chen will win. He, right now my master is in seclusion. So the Zhuanshan Dao sect is mine. If I don't properly use this authority, it will probably become invalid not too long from now, said Li Xiangxuan. Liu Kang and the tower department had exchanged a glance, both seeing the shock in the other's eyes. So the Xuan master had truly handed the Zhuanshan Dao sect to Long Chen. The world was probably about to be thrown into chaos. With Long Chen's character, if he didn't flip the heavens, he wouldn't be Long Chen. The Xuan master was serious. How's the situation with the old Xuan master? Asked the tower department head. He's reached the final step. But as for whether he'll succeed or fail, it's impossible to tell. Li Xiangxuan's expression finally became a bit serious. This matter was too important. Although the old Xuan master had said he was 50% confident, it didn't change the fact that advancing at his level was filled with danger. That step was fraught with danger. Just as the three of them were conversing, Luo Mingheo began to emit an ancient aura. His entire air had changed. Long Chen, do you see? This is my strongest state. My power is ten times greater than before. Now you're just an ant in front of me. Shockingly, Luo Mingheo's voice was layered, as if two people were speaking at the same time. Right now, Luo Mingheo had used a kind of spiritual possession. He had used his own spirit blood to call forth his ancestor. Normally, only the ancient families would have such terrifying experts amongst their ancestors. After receiving their descendants' offerings and faith, they would become ancestral spirits that existed in a strange state. Those ancestral spirits would bless their descendants, but there was no way for them to fight directly against enemies. That was why they required using their descendants' bloodline power to appear and merge with them. It's just merging with another soul. Even if you dug out your ancestors' entire grave, I wouldn't be afraid, sneered Long Chen. Long Chen had long since experienced this kind of technique. No matter how powerful an external power was, it was still external power. It was nothing to be afraid of. You'll pay the price for your arrogance. Taste my fist. Luo Mingheo roared furiously at Long Chen who was looking down on him. Luo Mingheo attacked, his aura shaking heaven and earth. At this time, his aura was extremely strange. It was like he was a devil god. Being arrogant requires the qualifications to be arrogant. As for your arrogance. It's just from overconfidence. 
Long Chen sneered and took a single step. The void exploded, and he shot forward like a shooting star. Green scales covered his body. A terrifying aura shook the heavens. Long Chen was even more dazzling than the sun. Boom. Their fists collided in the air. The void exploded and divine light erupted, piercing the earth. This was a world-shaking collision. The ground exploded, and a wave of earth spread. Bosses as lively as ever. Brothers, prepare to defend. If we were killed by bosses' shock waves, it would definitely not be worth it, cried Guo Ran. Seeing the wave of earth coming toward them, everyone's expressions changed. They couldn't bother with fighting, and they all unleashed defensive magical arts. The Dragon Blood Legion activated their king item armor. A large collective barrier appeared around all of them. This was the armor Guo Ran had made for them, and after upgrading them several times, their defensive power was astonishing. I ya fuck. This pfft. The Dragon Blood Legion's defensive barrier instantly shattered upon contact with the Earth Wave. Cracks even appeared on their armor, and they were blown away like wooden stakes in a hurricane. The Dragon Blood Warriors were injured despite possessing such powerful armor. Meanwhile, the disciples of the other sects were directly annihilated. The shock waves of Long Chen's full strength fight with Luo Minghao made their defenses as weak as paper. Space continuously shook and runes flew about in the sky. A terrifying battle was being fought. Haze covered the battlefield so that they couldn't see them, but they could hear two people continuously exchanging powerful blows. Each collision caused the world to rock. Men Chi and Tang Wan Er tightly held each other's hands as they stared at that distant battlefield. They were filled with excitement and adoration. That was the undefeatable Long Chen. He had finally returned. Not even the underworld soul ghost curse could defeat him. Instead, it had been like a wet stone, making him even sharper than before. That bastard Long Chen. The distant life star experts were clenching their teeth. They had been hesitating about whether or not they should charge forward to save their disciples. They had felt that if they all went together, the Zhuanshan Dao sect wouldn't dare to offend everyone to kill them. But considering Long Chen's fearless character, they had no confidence in that plan. So while they had been caught in their own indecision, Long Chen had helped them make their choice. That terrifying attack had killed all those disciples. Not one had survived. Now they didn't need to take the risk. Their hearts were dripping blood as those people had been their sect's elite disciples. They had only come to taunt the Zhuanshan Dao sect the meaning was obvious. So what if the Zhuanshan Dao sect had geniuses? They had geniuses as well. After the Zhuanshan Dao sect had offended so many people, there was no way they would allow them to get away with things forever. However, in front of this conclusion, their thinking appeared so childish. Just who was taunting who? Now Long Chen was fighting intensely with Luo Mingheo, occasionally appearing for a moment. They both looked like battle gods, and each of their punches unleashed loud rumbling. It was like gods were beating their war drums. Even the Life Star experts were shocked by their fight. Their combat power made them feel fear. If it had been them fighting Luo Mingheo, they'd have long since died. That was because under the Nine Flowers manifest the Heavenly Deo's suppression. The majority of their heavenly Tao energy would be stripped away. They would only be able to unleash 50% of their normal combat power at best. So they would definitely die upon facing Luo Mingheo. That was the terror of rank 9 celestials. However, Long Chen was still fighting intensely against him. Despite Luo Mingheo summoning forth his ancestral spirit and increasing his power by 10 times, Long Chen was still fighting evenly with him. This kind of combat power surpassed their imagination. At this time, the Dragon Blood Warriors had gathered together again. Although they were covered in dust, they were all inspired. A fanatical expression filled their eyes. Boss is forever boss. He's as lively as ever. Guo Ran and the others clenched their fists. They all felt their blood boiling as they watched Long Chen fight. Unfortunately, their opponents this time had been too useless. They had all been killed by just the shock waves of Long Chen's battle with Luo Mingheo. If only they had been stronger, the Dragon Blood Legion would be able to fight to their heart's content. The battle in the air continued. The ground was continuously being destroyed, but the Zhuanshan Dao sect had activated the Grand Formation, protecting the sect from the shock waves. 
This battle between a dragon and a tiger lasted over two hours before Long Chen and Luo Minghao's auras began to drop. The time to decide the victor has finally appeared. Once their battle tempo finally slowed down, everyone's hearts shook. This was when the true battle started. Chapter 1388 I've been waiting for you translator. Born to be the two of them had been fighting in the most berserk way this entire time. Each collision had been an exchange of power against power. That meant each attack used up a huge amount of energy. For such a wild battle to continue for two full hours was shocking to everyone here. Within that terrifying battlefield, ordinary rank 8 celestials wouldn't even have a chance to get close before being killed. Yet, it took two hours for their auras to start to drop. Their power finally started to flag. This is the critical moment. I wonder who will win. It was normally very difficult for peak heavenly geniuses to determine a winner amongst themselves. Their talent was the same, and they were given the same blessed nurturing. Peak heavenly geniuses all enjoyed the best resources, so the difference between them wasn't very large. Even if they did determine a winner, it would only be a victory by the slightest margin. That was why battles between them were brilliant to watch, but it was rare for anyone to die. However, just because no one died didn't mean that their battles weren't shocking. After all, that was the field of peak heavenly geniuses. Existences that they couldn't compare to Novaloon.com boom. Both of their fists collided once more, but the explosive sound from it was not as great as before. The two of them were breathing heavily. You're already out of energy. Now I'll be taking your life. Prepare to face your death, said Long Chen coldly. What a joke. Who do you think you are if you think you can kill me? You must be dreaming. I might be out of energy. But what about you? Don't you feel a sense of shame to boast like this? Said Luo Mingheo. He was starting to pant, but his eyes were full of disdain. In truth, the disdain he revealed was to cover up his shock and fury. He had already summoned his greatest power but was only able to fight evenly with Long Chen. This was an unacceptable result for him. From the eastern wastelands to the central plains, I don't know how many arrogant but incompetent idiots like you I've slain. With my experience of killing idiots for so many years, I can tell that you're definitely going to die today. If you have any last words, you should say them quickly. Otherwise, you won't have another chance, said Long Chen as his fists and legs flew. Bullshit. You're the one who's going to die, you country bumpkin, raged Luo Mingheo. He did everything he could to defeat Long Chen. Long Chen was forced back step by step under his torrent of attacks. Luo Mingheo, you've fallen for Long Chen's trap. He said that to make you angry. If you attack so much, you'll use up more energy than him. Stay calm. Long Chen's using up more energy than you to fight. So you have the greater chance to win. Warn someone. Luo Mingheo's heart shook upon receiving that person's warning. The flames in his heart instantly calmed down. Long Chen, you despicable trash. You would actually use such an underhanded move? You're not fit to be a martial cultivator. Cursed Luo Mingheo. With trash like you present, I do feel embarrassed to be called trash as well. You blocked the entrance to people's homes and humiliated weaker disciples to find meaning in your existence. Trampled over other people's dignity for your pleasure used any despicable means necessary to achieve your goals. Tell me, just who's the real trash? To be able to call other people trash, I really don't know how you survived with such a brain, mocked Long Chen. When he had returned to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, he had come just as they were humiliating that disciple. He had seen it all. Thus, he had memorized the expressions of the people who had come to watch the fun. He was from a low background. And when he was young and weak, he had been bullied every day. When he saw them bullying that disciple, he thought of when he had been bullied in his youth. At that time, there had also been a group of cold spectators who had simply watched with smiles delighting in his pain. That was just like this current scene. Not one of these people was a friend of the Zhuanshan Dao sect if they wanted to watch as the Zhuanshan Dao sect was mocked. Then fine. The price of the ticket would be their lives. Bang. After another hour, they were unsteady. Luo Mingheo's manifestation and Long Chen's divine ring had dimmed, and they looked like they might fade away at any moment. The two of them were tottering. Die. Suddenly, Long Chen's power erupted, and he shot at Luo Mingheo. 
This shocked everyone. Had he been holding back some energy? Was it to be used in a final effort to kill Luo Mingheo? Blood sprayed from Luo Mingheo's mouth. Long Chen's punch broke his ribs, and his chest caved in. Everyone let out startled cries. This one attack signified Luo Mingheo was the loser. Long Chen had still been holding back a bit of power, while Luo Mingheo was out of energy. An ancient scroll suddenly appeared in Luo Mingheo's hand. He was about to activate it when a flame sword severed his arm. By this point, do you think I'd let you get away? Sneered Long Chen as his sword slashed down again. Luo Mingheo was appalled. Seeing the coldness in Long Chen's eyes, he suddenly realized something. He had fallen for Long Chen's trap. Long Chen's eyes were calm. Their previous dimness had vanished, replaced with a reserved sharpness. Long Chen hadn't used even close to all his energy. He had been exhausting Luo Mingheo on purpose. By making him think they were fighting evenly and giving him hope that he could win, Long Chen made sure he was completely exhausted before launching a sudden killing blow. Now Luo Mingheo had no energy left to use any of his escape techniques. He could only watch as death came for him. He was filled with terror. Long Chen, I don't believe you dare to kill me, roared Luo Mingheo. Long Chen's sword suddenly made a strange turn, actually missing Luo Mingheo's head. Long Chen had mercy? No. Lu Kang's expression changed. Long Chen's sword wasn't aiming for Luo Mingheo. That had just been a facade. His waist turned, and the sword slashed behind him. At the same time, his dim divine ring suddenly lit up, its light shaking the sky. The space behind Long Chen twisted. A sword silently came out of that space. However, Long Chen's sword had landed on it. Bloodkill Hall idiot. I've been waiting for you. Boom. Long Chen's sword shattered the space around the sword, causing a miserable figure to fly out, vomiting blood. Bloodkill 9. You really are determined Long Chen swung his sword, emitting sword chi. But this sword chi wasn't aimed at the Bloodkill Hall's assassin, Luo Mingheo who had just escaped disaster, had managed to grab the scroll with his other hand. However, he didn't have time to open it before Long Chen's sword chi struck him. Bang! Luo Mingheo's body smashed into the ground, but shockingly, he didn't die. Semi-transparent runes revolved around his body as he stood back up. This is his ancestral spirit blessing. Several life star experts cried out as they recognized Luo Mingheo's current state. Rumor was that the top geniuses of the ancient families were under the protection of their ancestors' spirits. One way was shown when Luo Mingheo had increased his power by so much. This was another way. The ancestral spirit descended into his body to protect him. However, this kind of situation was extremely rare, because once that ancestral spirit descended into the physical world like this, they would quickly dissipate. In the future, they wouldn't be able to offer any more blessings to their descendants. You vile creature, you will be put to death. Luo Mingheo seemed like a completely different person. His voice was ancient, and simply by raising his hand, a rain of light fell and enveloped the world. The rain was like millions of divine arrows. It attacked both Long Chen and Bloodkill 9. Bloodkill 9's expression changed. In truth, he had arrived here a long time ago and had been waiting for half a month. Originally, after Long Chen had been afflicted with the Underworld Soul Ghost Curse on Devil Spirit Mountain, his mission had been cancelled, because no one struck by that curse could survive. As a result, he had gone through with his advancement, becoming a Jade Core expert. But for some unknown reason, the higher-up sent him to test the Zhuanshan Dao sect's bottom line. He was to wait for a chance to assassinate Men Qi. However, Men Qi hadn't come out. Instead, Long Chen had returned. At the most critical moment, he had been hoping to kill Long Chen in one blow. Unfortunately, he didn't have the ability of the twin brothers that had been blood kill 10. Those twins had been able to cancel out each other's killing intent. As for him, Long Chen had sensed him from the start. He had intentionally put on an act of running out of energy when fighting Luo Mingheo for two reasons. One was to bait out blood kill 9 but he was so powerful that even his sudden attack only injured him. The other reason he had put on this act was because he wanted to kill Luo Mingheo. He didn't want to give him a chance to get away. He knew that rank 9 celestials were blessed by the heavens. They had great karmic luck and were difficult to kill. 
when he had faced Ku Daejiang, Jiang Zijin, Kong Dongs, and Dan Yangsu, despite clearly having an absolute advantage, they would have managed to get away in the end thanks to their karmic luck. It was only because of the Aldevil monster's appearance that they had been crushed. The Eastern Wasteland Bell had told him that each heavenly genius was beloved by the world. Their golden fate lines were very stable, and unless you possessed enough power to overwhelm them like the Aldevil monster, they would always find some opportunity to escape from death. Long Chen had refused to accept this. He had created this desperate situation for Luo Mingheo step by step and also baited out Bloodkill 9. However, the situation had changed again. Luo Mingheo had become a completely different person, and he immediately launched a killer attack. A cauldron appeared over Long Chen's head, its divine runes protecting him. The rain of light shattered upon contact with the blazing dragon cauldron's defense, and Long Chen shot into the air. As for Bloodkill 9, his sword flashed coldly. A barrier of light appeared around him, protecting him. Although it wasn't an ancestral item, he was strong enough himself, and this rain of light was unable to harm him. I still have 70% of my energy left. It should be enough. Although Luo Mingheo had been possessed by his ancestor's spirit, Long Chen wasn't discouraged. His sword pointed at the heavens. A huge sword image tore into the sky. Split the heavens 5. Chapter 1389 Killing Luo Mingheo Translator Born to be his sword fell, shattering the rain. The huge sword image transformed into a crescent moon that slashed down. The crescent moon was 30,000 meters long at the start, but as Long Chen attacked, it explosively grew, enveloping Luo Mingheo and Bloodkill 9 within it. Everyone stared in shock as this celestial blade slashed down. The world changed color. Luo Mingheo hastily formed hand seals and chanted. His forehead split open, and divine runes appeared wrapping around him. As for Bloodkill 9, he was locked down by Split the Heavens Divine Might and couldn't flee. Clenching his teeth, he took out a palm-sized turtle shell. The turtle shell sparkled like jade. It looked to just be an ornament, but when he poured his spiritual yuan into it, it grew to hundreds of meters and began to shine. An aura of primal chaos flowed within it. This turtle shell was actually a powerful ancestral item. Boom. The crescent blade slashed down, exploding into blinding light. The ground was instantly split in two, and a long ditch extended far beyond the horizon. Even the Zhuanshan Dao sect's grand protective formation was cut apart, and the sword chi continued. However, a divine light shot out of the Zhuanshan Tower, blocking the attack. This single slash terrified everyone, both friend and enemy. This attack surpassed the scope of their understanding. Even Liu Kang and the tower department head were stunned. If they hadn't personally witnessed it, they would definitely have refused to believe that Long Chen could unleash such a terrifying attack. This attack was something that even Life Star experts would definitely die to if they didn't have an ancestral item to protect them. As for the opposing Life Star experts, they turned ashen. They blessed their luck that this sword hadn't been aimed at them. Otherwise, they didn't know if they would have been able to survive. After launching this attack, Long Chen began to pant. He felt like he had used up all his energy. Suddenly, a figure of light flew out of the dust. It was Luo Mingheo's soul. Where do you think you're going? Long Chen stretched out his hand, and the lightning dragon tattoo on his arm lit up. However, before he could attack, a violet spiritual arrow shot over and pierced Luo Mingheo's soul. No. Luo Mingheo's body had been destroyed despite the protection of his ancestral spirit. Now that he only had his soul, the spiritual arrow instantly caused his soul to dissipate. In order to force Long Chen to accept his challenge, he had called Meng Chi out to fight. He had also said many hateful things in his efforts. In order to protect Long Chen, everyone had been forced to stay inside and not say a word. But even the calm-natured Meng Chi felt like Luo Mingheo had to be killed due to his malicious tongue. As a soul cultivator, she was better than anyone here at killing a soul. She had long since been prepared, and Luo Mingheo's soul didn't manage to run far before she killed him. After all, Luo Mingheo was only a Jade Core disciple. Although his soul was powerful, it was still just a soul. He hadn't condensed a Yuan spirit yet. As his soul dissipated. A generation's heavenly genius died. Boom. 
Just at this moment, a huge wind blade cut through the dusty battlefield. It landed on a huge white colored turtle shell. Tang Wan'er had also attacked. Tang Wan'er had now reached the fourth vestige of Jade Core. She was at the mid Jade Core realm, and her attack was extremely powerful. The turtle shell trembled. As for Blood Kill 9 who was behind it, his body was covered in cracks. He was heavily injured even with an ancestral item protecting him. Tang Wan'er's attack caused him to cough up more blood, and the cracks on his body grew. If struck again, his body would explode. Suddenly, he vomited blood onto the turtle shell. It instantly became scarlet and began to rapidly spin. It formed a spatial portal in the air. This bastard's running, cried Guo Ran. He whipped out his crossbow, and a black light shot into the turtle shell. Regretfully, the arrow was unable to affect the turtle shell at all. Meng Chi, Tang Wan'er, Hua Xiaoyu, and the others all unleashed attacks, but they were ineffective in the face of an ancestral item. Barriers of light had appeared on the turtle shell, which also covered Blood Kill 9. Space began to tremble. Long Chen paused his hand seal. The lightning and flame dragon images on his arms had lit up, but in the end, Long Chen put down his hands. Long Chen, congratulations on escaping your assassination this time. That's your blessing, but also your misfortune. With the killing god's guidance, death is your only end. Just patiently wait for your death to come. Blood Kill 9 was covered in blood, but his eyes were still icy cold. Stop talking. In my eyes, you're just a minor character. Whether I kill you today or tomorrow doesn't matter. You should cherish your life after managing to escape with it. Keep talking and just wait for the Zhuanshan Tower to attack. Then even 10,000 lives wouldn't be enough for you, said Long Chen indifferently. If Long Chen unleashed the double dragon destruction, he was 90% confident in killing Blood Kill 9. Although his spiritual Yuan was exhausted, just Lai Long and Huo Long's power should be enough to kill him. However, he chose not to. He had two misjivings. One was that he was worried about exposing the heaven incinerating flame so quickly. That would draw suspicion. Another reason was that Huo Long and Lai Long had grown to a terrifying level. He didn't know just what would happen if he released the two of them. Although the Dragonblood Legion was rather far away, he wasn't 100% sure that they would be safe. After having their power explosively grow, Huo Long and Lai Long weren't able to perfectly control their energy. They were only able to release it explosively. So after hesitating, he decided not to kill him. And if he didn't kill him, the Zhuanshan Tower would feel that it was beneath it to kill him. The Zhuanshan Tower was a divine item, and it had its own pride. It wouldn't participate in the competition of the junior generation, unless someone provoked the Zhuanshan Dao sect, which was provoking the Zhuanshan Tower. It wouldn't interfere too often. Yes, that's the truth. My life was bestowed to me by the Grand Killing God. Death is just returning to the embrace of the God. Blood Kill 9 became covered in divine runes. His expression lacked any fear at all. What a nice way to put it. Since you love your god so much, why don't I send you to see your god right now? Hopefully, your god has long enough arms, or it won't be able to hold you all if there are too many of you, said Long Chen. He couldn't be bothered trying to change the minds of these brainwashed fellows. These people were no longer even human. Their heads no longer knew how to think for themselves, and they only knew how to follow orders. That was why Long Chen didn't feel the slightest guilt no matter how many of their assassins he killed. He knew they were emotionless killing machines. Blasphemer, you'll receive your divine punishment soon. Repent in your terror and regret. Don't commit the same sins in your next life fuck. Can you shut up? Raged Long Chen. He almost unleashed the double dragon destruction right there and then. Just at this moment, the turtle shell shook and vanished along with Blood Kill 9. Rank 9 Celestials really are hard to kill. They have countless trump cards and are supported by karmic luck. Even after all that, I only managed to get one. But just getting one Rank 9 Heavenly Dao Fruit was worth it. Long Chen slowly descended from the sky. Meng Chi, Tang Wan'er, and the others all rushed over to greet him. Meng Chi and Tang Wan'er helped support him. This time, he wasn't acting. He was really out of energy. Despite his weakened state, 
The fact that he had fought against two rank nine celestials and even killed one still caused him to give off immense pressure. Long Chen, you murdered colleagues of the Righteous Path. Where is your conscience? Is your Zhuangshan Dao sect planning on rebelling and going against the Righteous Path? Shouted the Life Star experts. Supported by Meng Qi and Tang Wanur, Long Chen's gaze swept across those Life Star experts. He sneered. Colleagues? Are you trying to joke? Were they acting like colleagues? This was just a mutually beneficial exchange of pointers. Both sides would work to improve themselves. But you, you viciously murdered them. Your crimes need to be punished. Cried out another Life Star expert from the crowd. Do you think I'm as stupid as you? You've established a mystic peering formation around the Zhuanshan Dao sect to keep watch over our every move. Don't tell me that's a part of exchanging pointers. Sneered Long Chen. As soon as he had arrived, he had seen the formation outside the Zhuanshan Dao sect that was what had enraged him the most. Through this formation, they were able to observe every movement of the Zhuanshan Dao sect although it couldn't see into the Zhuanshan Dao sect. It was still a provocation and an insult. This little move of theirs might not have affected the Zhuanshan Dao sect on the surface, but if the Zhuanshan Dao sect simply endured it, then eventually it would be surrounded by all kinds of formations. If it was like a game of chess, the end result would definitely be a checkmate. I don't have time to waste words with you, and you guys shouldn't try to act stupid in front of me. Hurry up and scram, or there'll be no need for you to ever leave again, snorted Long Chen. Buzz. Suddenly, a ray of golden light shot out from the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Chapter 1390 Scram. Translator. Born to be that direction is. Boom. The earth shook and a plume of smoke rose from the distance. Because it was so far, they first felt the earth shaking before they heard the sound. The mystic peering formation has been destroyed. That direction was where the mystic peering formation was. The Zhuanshan Tower had unleashed an attack to destroy it. Long Chen coldly stared at the shocked Life Star experts. Did you fools think that sucking up to Pill Valley would allow you to do anything? After being used by Pill Valley, you still don't realize you're just idiotic cannon fodder. You might have forgotten, but while Pill Valley is strong, its interior is currently in a mess due to the chaos Long San caused. They're too busy to bother with anything else right now. You fools weren't even able to see this, and yet you still came to add fuel to the fire. If I try to talk reason with you, you play your games to avoid me. If I play your games, you start acting as shameless as possible. Well now, I'm not going to beat around the bush. In the future, I won't be talking reason with any of you idiots. No matter who it is, either fuck off or fight. From top to bottom, from the Xuan master to the workers, my Zhuanshan Dao sect's blood is hot, and our spines are straight. If you want to come suppress us, you can try and suppress us with your lives. That's the only thing left to say. Any more words are meaningless. Scram. Long Chen's words echoed through the air and killing intent erupted out of him, causing the world to change color, an undefeatable will shook their hearts, scram, 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 the dragon blood warriors, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's elite disciples, the inner sect disciples, the outer sect disciples, all of them roared, their voices seemed unstoppable, the air became saturated with the will of every member of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, this kind of cohesiveness is something only Long Chen is capable of, said Li Xiangxuan emotionally. Of course, even an old man like me feels my blood heating up. I almost want to shout with them, laughed Lu Kang. When Long Chen had roared, they had also been affected. They had felt something stir in them that they hadn't in a long time. The tower department had bitterly smiled. Even someone like him had an urge to go out and dominate the battlefield. So it could be imagined what the young disciples were feeling. Now they fully understood why the Dragonblood Legion's warriors would be so united and follow Long Chen so unswervingly. That was because he possessed a charisma that could make others willing to fight to the death for him. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples had never been this united before. It was the result of Long Chen creating miracle after miracle, which had caused the Zhuanshan Dao sect's reputation to rise to the point that their light blinded the rest of the eastern Xuan region. Any sect's disciple would feel a sense of belonging and pride in their heart. But before, the Zhuanshan Dao sect hadn't done anything in particular to enforce this. 
so their hearts were scattered. It was Long Chen's arrival that had caused everyone's hearts to unite. Li Xiangxuan had noticed that after the battle on Devil Spirit Mountain, after Long Chen had managed to defeat the corrupt Paths Ji Yui Yan, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's unity had been elevated to an unprecedented level. There had been several times when outsiders tried to infiltrate the Zhuangshan Dao sect and bribe its disciples to incite disharmony. But no matter what they offered, they were unable to shake those disciples' hearts. They weren't even able to buy a single worker. Li Xiangxuan knew that the reason they followed the Zhuangshan Dao sect so loyally was because of Long Chen. Long Chen had become the idol of everyone here. He was essentially a godlike existence to them. They all believed that as long as Long Chen was here, the Zhuangshan Dao sect would continue to rise. They felt that just being in the same sect as him was a supreme glory. That was why when that worker had been bullied, he hadn't said a word until they started insulting Long Chen. Then he would fight to the death to protect Long Chen's glory. With the millions of people in the Zhuangshan Dao sect roaring at once, those life star experts turned pale. They could only leave dejectedly. They were finally afraid. A single person's power wasn't something to be afraid of. The most terrifying thing was a power that was fully united from top to bottom. No matter how solid the foundation, there were always weaknesses. But it was different with the Zhuangshan Dao sect this time. The attitude of the Zhuangshan Dao sect was clear. Long Chen's position was no lower than Li Xiangxuan's in the Zhuangshan Dao sect becoming enemies with Long Chen was becoming enemies with the Zhuangshan Dao sect thus. Trying to drive a wedge between them was impossible. With the Life Star experts leaving, the disciples of the Zhuangshan Dao sect let out heaven-shaking cheering. This victory belonged to all of them. Furthermore, Long Chen had finally reappeared. All the disciples cheered and surrounded Long Chen, like stars surrounding the moon. They shouted until their throats were sore. Their gazes were fanatical. Li Xiangxuan had concealed the truth so well that everyone in the Zhuangshan Dao sect had been worried for Long Chen. They were aware that the Zhuangshan Dao sect had been searching everywhere for medicine, and with the people provoking them right outside their door, a shadow had been cast over the sect. However, today, Long Chen had reappeared, healthier than ever, fighting against two peak heavenly geniuses. He had even managed to kill one. That made these disciples so excited that they didn't even know what to do. They could only cheer crazily to express their emotions. Meng Qi and Tang Wan'er were filled with pride. This man who was revered as a god was the one they loved. Long Chen also felt emotional. He greeted these disciples as best as he could. In truth, no one in the world was completely good or completely bad. Each person's heart had a dark side. But some people could suppress that side. And some couldn't. The most terrifying thing was for a person to be corrupted by their dark side without even realizing it. They would feel that what they were doing was correct, that they were right, and that no matter how vile their actions were, they wouldn't need to feel any guilt. Back when he had first arrived at the Zhuangshan Dao sect, he had disliked this place. People were scheming against each other every day. Yet today, through the Nine Star Hegemon body art, he could sense everyone's emotions. Everyone here had absolute trust in him. Perhaps only trust could give birth to belief. And once a person had a belief, it would form a guide for them. People without any belief would have no bottom line and be easily drawn into depravity. That was terrifying. However, if their faith was wrong, it would be even more terrifying. They would become crazy people filled with bigotry. On one hand, there were the wine god palace's disciples who believed in their wine god and that the wine Dao could lead them to the heavenly deos. They lived leisurely without any struggles. There was also the Huaian sect's disciples. Their faith was in the wealth god, and they believed that the business Dao could lead them to the heavenly deos. Using their wealth, they could get rid of hunger and pain. They lived as businessmen, and so they treated their customers well. They also helped out countless poor people. One of them detached themselves from the rest of the world, while one was intricately connected with the world. But in the end, what they pursued was the wealth of the mind and of the heart. They spread their happiness to others. On the other hand, there were the corrupt path and the blood kill hall. The corrupt path believed that the weak were prey to the strong, and that the weak could be slaughtered at will. Their version of the heavenly deos was one where only the strong would survive. The blood kill hall wasn't much better. Focusing on their assassination Dao, 
They believed that every person in the world had sins that made it so they could kill them without any guilt. Killing people simply reduced the sin in the world. They were the servants of the killing God, and were carrying out their divine mission. In truth, each belief had its own principles and justifications. They were all paths that pursued the heavenly deos. However, the path to the heavenly deos was built on the human Tao, on the mortal Tao, as a foundation. The goal was for the heavens and man to be one. Otherwise, cultivation wouldn't begin with the body. There would be no chi condensation, blood condensation, tendon transformation, bone forging, meridian opening. The concept of building up Haoshan power to step into the Xi'anshan realm wouldn't exist. Since it was a process of constant evolution, then the point was to undergo constant changes without losing touch with the source. What changed was just the outside, but not the heart. Through cultivation, a person became stronger. But no matter how powerful they became, no matter how many magical arts they mastered, no matter what heights they reached, their innate character was something that shouldn't change. For example, mankind should treasure family, friends, and love. The foundation of how to conduct oneself was rooted in humbleness, righteousness, bravery, dedication, etc. Yet, many people's desires grew along with their martial power. They became arrogant and prejudiced. It was like a dynasty ruled by a royal family. The dynasty started in the hands of a wise ruler and was destroyed in the hands of a corrupt ruler. That was because they became too arrogant, believing themselves to be an omnipotent god. In the end, the foundation that had given them what they had, was destroyed. Without the human Tao, where would the heavenly deos come from? If you couldn't even be a proper person. How could you cultivate the heavenly deos? That was why Long Chen didn't believe in any god. Some beliefs were wrong, so he wouldn't believe in them. Some beliefs were correct, but they didn't suit him. He had to walk his own path. Well done, Long Chen. When Long Chen walked into the Intersect Plaza, Li Xiangxuan, Lu Kang, and the Tower Department head were already standing at the center. Many thanks for your praise. If you praise me for a few more hours. I'll be even happier, Long Chen bowed, but that naughty smile was completely improper, perhaps only Long Chen would dare to speak to the Xuan master like this in the Zhuanshan Dao sect however, Li Xiangxuan was already used to the fact that this little fellow liked to speak without restraint, so he wasn't offended, instead, it made them seem even closer, Long Chen truly viewed the Xuan master as a family elder, not a sect leader, the latter was a professional title, while the former seemed more intimate, Li Xiangxuan smiled and nodded. He had all the disciples go back and rest for now. Then he brought Long Chen to the peak of the Zhuanshan Tower alone. Not bad. You've managed to remove the curse. It seems you've already obtained the second volume of the Nirvana scripture. And I heard you flipped the entire pill valley on its head. The name of Master Long San is shaking the entire world. Let me hear your marvelous story. Ah. It was just me blindly messing around. It's not even worth telling, said Long Chen bashfully. Although that was what came out of his mouth, his hands were already starting to gesture enthusiastically. Chapter 1391 The Zhuanshan Tower's Warning Translator Born to be hearing Long Chen's story, even Li Xiangxuan felt his heart pounding in shock. Although he had heard the recent news about Pill Valley, the rumors and stories that came through the grapevine could not compare to the truth spoken by one who had not only personally witnessed it, but also been in the middle of it. Lord Brahma and Fallen Danite are the gods Pill Valley believes in. Lord Brahma is the god of controlling fire, while Fallen Danite is the god of forging furnaces. Flames and pill furnaces are two must-haves for alchemy. Rumor has it that all of Pill Valley was built around their inheritances. As for the Valley Master, for him to suppress the Aldeville monster, he had to have used the god's power. As expected, Pill Valley is as unfathomable as always, sighed Li Xiangxuan. Long Chen wasn't just telling him his story, he also revealed many battle scenes he had recorded on photographic jades. When Li Xiangxuan had seen the Aldeville monster, he had jumped in shock. That monster was absolutely terrifying. For Long Chen to be able to survive such an encounter, it could be said that as usual, his luck was heaven-defying. One god's inheritance is flame arts, and the other's is forging arts. 
Then what about the actual alchemy arts? Asked Long Chen. If you don't know after muddling around in Pill Valley for so long, how would I know? Li Xiangxuan couldn't help but smile. I went through countless tomes in Pill Valley, but I didn't see any information about those two fellows or any of the secrets behind Pill Valley's history, said Long Chen helplessly. Perhaps it was simply that he hadn't been qualified to learn such things. If Li Xiangxuan hadn't mentioned it now, he wouldn't have even known about the background of Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Knight. So Fallen Day Knight specialized in forging alchemy tools. It was no wonder his statue had held a pill furnace. However, Lord Brahma was even more amazing. All flame magical arts were his inheritance. Long Chen regretted having left Pill Valley so early. He hadn't learned their true skills. Back when he had fought against Pu Dejiang, Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin, they had used many powerful techniques that he had never seen before. Clearly, the flame magical arts he had managed to learn in Pill Valley were nothing to them. Xuan Master, that Aldevil monster repeatedly said that Lord Brahma used the Aldevil race, and that he was a traitor who betrayed his master. Do you know what he was talking about? Asked Long Chen. This was still a mystery to him, so he asked Li Xiangxuan, whom he had to prostrate toward when it came to wisdom. It would be best if you didn't discuss things relating to gods. Before Li Xiangxuan could say anything, the Zhuanshan Tower's voice rang out. Long Chen, although it looks like your trip to Pill Valley went very smoothly, the truth is that you have already invoked karma. You have to be careful. When mortals end up involved with gods, they are infected by karma and that karma will always settle its debts during heavenly tribulation, said the Zhuanshan Tower. What Long Chen's expression instantly changed. People aren't being alarmists when they say that man and god are blocked off from each other by the heavenly deos. You shouldn't randomly discuss gods, or the karma will cause divine lightning to fall during your next tribulation. In the end, mortals aren't able to resist divine lightning. And it's not just you, Long Chen, Li Xiangxuan. You've reached the peak of life star and have touched the next barrier. If you are infected by karma, you'll definitely die during your next tribulation. The Zhuanshan Tower's voice was extremely grave. Divine lightning. Long Chen gulped. He was doomed. He had a premonition that his next lightning tribulation would be far more dangerous than any before. This was a feeling that came from the nine star hegemon body art. It seemed that he would definitely encounter divine lightning next time. So the Zhuanshan Tower had been helping Long Chen out by not mentioning gods to him before. But now, it was already too late. He felt like the heavenly deos had already locked onto him. They were just waiting for their chance. Xuan Master, I have a request. Long Chen suddenly clenched his teeth and took out a dragon-shaped jade pendant. Do you know the origin of this jade pendant nine-line soul calming jade? No, that's not right. This dragon shape, it's... Li Xiangxuan's expression suddenly changed. We know its origin, but it would be best if you didn't learn it yet. By the time you reach that level, you will naturally learn of it. The Zhuanshan Tower cut off Li Xiangxuan once more. Li Xiangxuan's expression was bewildered, but he didn't say anything. He simply handed the jade pendant back to Long Chen. Long Chen, this jade pendant's origin is even more complex than you imagine. It can be used as a summoning transportation formation, but it would be best if you never used it. As for why, you should think about it yourself, said the Zhuanshan Tower. Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. It seemed that the Zhuanshan Tower had realized something and was warning him. Many thanks. Then I'll take my leave. Long Chen knew that there was no point in asking any more questions, so he directly left. Seeing Long Chen's parting figure, an unprecedented grave expression appeared on Li Xiangxuan's face. When he first arrived, Liu Kang said that he had a nine-line soul calming jade. I thought that he might have been some fallen genius from a powerful family. But only now do I realize that I was wrong. The shape of the dragon. It's a coiling dragon. That's the specific mark of that existence. Sighed Li Xiangxuan. There's nothing strange about it. Back when he used Future Lake to see his past. I learned of his origin, said the Zhuanshan Tower. Then why didn't you warn me? Li Xiangxuan grumbled. Why would I warn you? Even if you knew, would you have changed your plans? Retorted the Zhuanshan Tower. I, I guess not. 
then don't worry about it. No matter what his origin is, you would have bet everything on him. Furthermore, I really look favorably on you and your decision, said the Zhuanchen Tower. Many thanks for your support. Li Xiangxuan was grateful. Without the Zhuanchen Tower's support, he wouldn't have dared to act so brazenly. He would be worried his master would kill him once he came out of seclusion. But now he had a reliable backer. I have no choice but to support you. The heavenly deos and the lines of fate, they've become chaotic. The future is no longer clear. The chi flow of the world is surging. Heavenly geniuses will rise one after another, and the world will definitely enter a glorious era in just a hundred years. But that's the herald of a world-shaking tribulation. It's also what people call the final radiance of the setting sun. Is it really so great? Asked Li Xiangxuan. Although he had also felt the change in the world, in the end, part of the heavenly deos was that the world had to go through a cycle. Trees grew and withered. A cycle of prosperity and decline was completely normal. However, the Zhuanchen Tower's words were a bit frightening. Li Xiangxuan knew that the Zhuanchen Tower wouldn't give such a warning just to scare him. It's even graver than you think. Although I didn't experience that battle of the immortal era. My premonition is that the upcoming tribulation won't be any less fierce than that battle, said the Zhuanchen Tower. Li Xiangxuan's heart shook. Legend said that the martial heaven continents five parts, the eastern wasteland, western desert, southern sea, northern source, and central plains had all been the same size at first. That had been a golden age for the martial heaven continent. People flourished, while gods and immortals were abundant. Yet, for some unknown reason, after a huge battle where the heavens collapsed and the earth fell, the very world had changed shape to its current state. It was said that the five great divine items had all appeared and joined forces, but it was unknown who their opponents were. Now there were many different stories. Some said that their enemies were demons, some said that they were devils, and some said that they were gods. That era had occurred so long ago that there was no way to research anything about it. But that huge battle had almost destroyed the entire continent. Because that time was rumored to have been a time of gods and immortals. It was called the Immortal Era. After an unknown number of years, the continent gradually recovered. Although it couldn't compare to its former glory, it had still been a glorious era with heavenly geniuses soaring and hundreds of philosophies of the Tao emerging. The Zhuanchen Tower, Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect and other sects like them had only risen during that time after the immortal era. It was another glorious era. However, when that era reached its peak, another tribulation suddenly descended. Countless life forms from other worlds broke through the barrier between worlds and attacked. The martial heaven continent's experts had fought back, and under the lead of sovereign class experts, they managed to repel them. That battle had been incredibly bitter. Mountains of corpses and rivers of blood had formed. There had been so much slaughter than the sky had turned dim. Although they had won that battle in the end, almost all the continent's experts had been slain. Many extremely powerful sects were annihilated and had their inheritance fully severed. Some sects relied on their powerful foundations to survive, but lost most of their inheritance. That bloody time had been called the Dark Era. The Zhuanchen Tower had participated in that battle. However, it didn't say that this upcoming tribulation would be like that dark era. Instead it brought up the battle at the end of the immortal era. Clearly, it thought that when the tribulation came, it would very likely mark the end of the martial heaven continent. Li Xiangxuan now understood why the Zhuanchen Tower would support him like this. It was because it could see the end coming. That was what made Li Xiangxuan feel the most fear. Don't feel pressured. If this world really is destined to die. It means its fate has simply come to an end. No matter how hard you try, it would be meaningless. But if the continent still has some fate left, there will definitely be some variables appearing to save it. The lines of fate are a complete mess now. That means the martial heaven continent also knows that it's in a fight for its life. Heavenly geniuses will spring up like bamboo after the rain. During such an era, countless demon class geniuses will rise to stand above the rest. We will enter an era of legends. As for whether those monstrous geniuses will be able to change the fate of the continent, it'll be up to the will of the heavens. That's why you don't need to feel any pressure. Just do what you want. 
This is the final stand of the Zhuangshan Dao sect and the final stand of the Martial Heaven continent. The Zhuangshan Tower's voice resounded throughout Li Xiangxuan's mind. He nodded and brushed aside all his worries. Chapter 1392 Preparing to Forge Items Translator Born to be news that Long Chen had fought against Luo Minghao and Blood Kill Nine at the same time resounded throughout the eastern Xuan region. Most shocking of all was that of those two heavenly geniuses. One was slain and the other was sent fleeing. Despite being struck by the corrupt path's underworld soul ghost curse, Long Chen hadn't died. Instead, he had advanced to the Jade Core Realm and his power had risen explosively. He won even one against two. If Blood Kill Nine hadn't had an ancestral item to protect him, he wouldn't have been able to escape his death either. At the same time, Long Chen's ruthlessness enraged countless sects. Their strongest Jade Core disciples had all been killed by Long Chen. They had lost a whole generation of geniuses. They went to demand justice from Pill Valley, wanting their Pill Tower to teach the Zhuangshan Dao sect a lesson. Last time when Zhuo Xiangxiang had led them to the Zhuangshan Dao sect and their life star experts had been killed, they had received a large amount of compensation that had drawn Pill Valley closer to their side. This time, they had suffered huge losses because they had been currying favor with Pill Valley. They had to stand up for them. However, they hadn't expected that the Eastern Xuan region's Pill Tower had changed masters. The new tower master was from the conservative faction. As a result, the door was slammed in the face of these experts. They didn't even get a single pill as compensation. Now those sects were dumbfounded. Last time, the pill tower had been so generous. But this time, they were a cheapskate that wouldn't even give them a copper coin. These experts could only clench their teeth and return to their sects. They had to accept a fact. Pill Valley had been flipped on its head. This was because of Master Long San. The radical faction had been completely suppressed. Although the Valley Master had said that he would put them in their place once he came out of seclusion, they were like death row inmates. They only quietly waited for execution. Although they knew that the Valley Master wouldn't kill them, they would at least be losing a layer of their skin. They were so busy acting obedient that they didn't have time to bother with anything else. With Pill Valley giving in, a storm of protest erupted in the eastern Xuan region. The Zhuangshan Dao sect was too domineering. Long Chen had killed so many people, and yet no one dared to do anything to them. Even the ancient races and the ancient family alliance didn't make a sound, let alone try to punish the Zhuangshan Dao sect. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's attitude was obvious. They were rising, and anyone who dared to try stropping them would be viewed as mortal enemies. Even an existence as powerful as Pill Valley had retreated. Not willing to provoke the Zhuangshan Dao sect it seemed even with their power, destroying the Zhuangshan Dao sect would come at a huge price. This was especially true with how Master Long San had half destroyed Pill Valley. Pill Valley didn't want to do anything, while the ancient races and ancient family alliance also didn't want to take any risks without getting anything in return. Although they were also enormous existences, they weren't completely united. Right now. The Zhuangshan Dao sect was like a madman. No matter who went against them, the Zhuangshan Dao sect would launch the craziest, fiercest attack. With the Zhuangshan Tower and Reincarnation Mirror backing them, no one dared to take the risk. Most importantly, even if they did destroy the Zhuangshan Dao sect. So what? Without any benefits, there was no way to unite enough people to attack them. Battle needed a goal, and as long as there was a goal, they could make up any other excuses as to why they had to fight. But without any profit, no one would be willing to try consuming a hard bone like the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Their teeth weren't strong enough for it. Although the Zhuangshan Dao sect had declined, they had the reincarnation mirror and the Zhuangshan tower. This was their foundation that made it so others didn't dare to act rashly. As for the sects that had maintained a neutral position because of the Huaian sect, they were rejoicing inside now. After weighing the pros and cons, they had decided to not offend anyone and just watch as things developed. It was because they had been so cautious that they had saved a generation of their disciples. Otherwise, if they had sent people there, they would definitely have died. The battle in front of the Zhuangshan Dao sect had been recorded, and photographic jades quickly spread throughout the eastern Xuan region. Everyone saw how terrifying Long Chen was. 
People said that as long as they didn't encounter any powerful opponents, the Zhuangshan Dao sect would become the Eastern Xuan region's strongest sect in less than a decade. However, some people had their suspicions. On that day, Long Chen hadn't come out from within the Zhuangshan Dao sect, but had arrived from outside the sect. People quickly guessed that Long Chen hadn't been in the Zhuangshan Dao sect the entire time. The Zhuangshan Dao sect had simply misled them to draw their attention. Then what had Long Chen been doing during this time? Who had helped him remove the curse? Just as these questions began to pop up, news came from the Grand Xia ancient nation. People said that they had seen Long Chen in the Wine God Palace. Once this news spread, everyone came to an understanding. Considering Long Chen's close relationship with the Wine God Palace, it was clear that he had gone to them to remove the curse. Once they thought of this, they realized there was only one person who was capable of removing this curse, which even the Zhuangshan Tower couldn't suppress. It had to have been the Wine God Palace's high priest. The high priest's position was transcendental. His position was just as high as Pill Valley's master. As he couldn't personally go to the Zhuangshan Dao sect to help Long Chen, Long Chen had to have gone to him. While Long Chen was gone, Li Xiangxuan had intentionally acted nervous to draw everyone's attention. It was to cover Long Chen. While he stealthily went to the Wine God Palace, very quickly, the Wine God Palace also sent out word that Long Chen had been in the Wine God Palace this entire time. He had been secluded in the High Priest's Palace. As for why the High Priest would personally remove the curse for Long Chen, no one knew. Naturally, this was all prepared by Long Chen. When he had been in the eastern Xuan city, he had gone to the Huaian sect and written a letter for them to give to the Wine God Palace's to Kian Shang. With the Wine God Palace testifying for him, no one would suspect that he was Master Long San. Upon returning to the Zhuangshan Dao sect, Long Chen finally had a few carefree days. He truly felt the Zhuangshan Dao sect to be his home now. He passed his days with Meng Qi, Tang Wanur, and the others. After relaxing for a few days, he called Guo Ran to his room. Boss, do you have good stuff for me? Guo Ran's eyes immediately began to shine. After following Long Chen for so many years, he understood him the best. Are you able to use this thing? Long Chen tossed a fiery red crystal to Guo Ran. Heavens, this, this is a divine flame crystal. Guo Ran's eyes almost popped out. His forging arts had reached an extremely high level and he had studied many rare ores and materials. He immediately recognized the divine flame crystal. Can you use it? Yes, definitely. This divine flame crystal can be used to forge ancestral items. It just so happens that I've been studying how to forge ancestral items during this time, but I just haven't had the materials. I should be able to refine this divine flame crystal into the arrowhead of a supreme exploding arrow. Its power might not be on the level of an ancestral item's detonation, but as long as it's used when they don't expect it, it should be no problem for it to kill a life star expert, said Guo Ran excitedly. Killing life star experts is meaningless. I want to know if you can forge it into armor or weapons. Long Chen shook his head. He wasn't interested in killing life star experts. Boss, if you put it like this, just how many of them do you have? First answer my question. Can you do it? This was what Long Chen wanted to know. Could he forge ancestral items or not? Yes, I definitely can do it. Boss, I can do it. How many divine flame crystals do you have? Guo Ran's eyes blazed with anticipation. Don't worry, there'll be enough divine flame crystals for you to use. I want to equip every warrior of the Dragonblood Legion with a set of armor and a matching weapon, said Long Chen. You want to equip them all, gasped Guo Ran. The Dragonblood Legion had over 13,000 members. That would mean 13,000 sets of armor and 13,000 weapons, all on the ancestral item level. That was essentially impossible. Originally, Guo Ran had thought he would just be equipping the Captain Class fighters. Giving each one of them an ancestral item would definitely be badass. But Long Chen wanted to equip every single person. That was too crazy. Close your jaw. I can see your stomach. Can you do it or not? Demanded Long Chen. Boss, to tell the truth, although I'm a genius and incredibly smart, hardworking and dedicated, one might say a generation's leader. Get to the point. Interrupted Long Chen.
cough. Well, I haven't forged ancestral items before, and these divine flame crystals have fire attributes. It's my first time coming into contact with such material. Although I'll definitely be able to forge them, there will be a few failed creations at the start. Guo Ran relied on himself to comprehend the ethereal crafting secret record. It was a tome that came from the immortal era, and it was incredibly difficult to understand. Although he had managed to learn quite a bit, and he thought he was around the level to start forging ancestral items, the forging Dao was also a grand Dao, and there were countless techniques. As he tested things, he would definitely waste a few materials. The materials for ancestral items were incredibly precious. Even wasting just a bit would make his heart bleed. You really say a lot of nonsense. It's fine as long as you can forge them in the end. Here, I'll give you one portion for now, and you practice with it. Once you succeed in mastering this, we can research other possibilities. Long Chen tossed a spatial ring to Guo Ran. When Guo Ran looked inside the spatial ring, he almost dropped it. There were hundreds of thousands of divine flame crystals. Boss, I'm going into seclusion. Just wait for the good news. Guo Ran vanished like a wisp of smoke. Long Chen knew that with Guo Ran's passion for forging, he would be working without caring about sleep or food. That was one of Guo Ran's good points. However, Long Chen didn't have particularly high hopes this time. Ancestral items weren't so easy to forge, but at least trying was necessary. After Guo Ran left, Long Chen also went into seclusion, taking out a portion of the Aldevil monster's essence blood. He began to refine pills. Chapter 1393 Dragon Tiger Body Tempering Pill Translator Born to be Boom An illusory figure charged out of the blazing dragon cauldron and attacked Long Chen. It was a three meter long devil beast. Bang! Long Chen's fist blew it back, but it didn't explode. Instead, it roared and Black Chi condensed in front of it, transforming into a black blade that slashed at Long Chen. Bang! 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 Long Chen blocked it three times and was forced back. He was shocked to find that its power was extremely bizarre, capable of instantly killing ordinary Jade Core disciples. Pipe down. The medicinal energy's going to be completely wasted. Long Chen's fist began to glow, and his punch blew the illusory figure apart this time. It dissipated, revealing a giant pill the size of a baby's fist floating in the air. This was a dragon tiger body tempering pill. An extremely bizarre pill as it didn't have any set tier. It could be considered a fifth tier medicinal pill at its lowest level. But it had no upper limit. The higher the quality of the ingredients, the greater the medicinal energy. Normally, its main ingredients were the earth dragon and the leopard striped white tiger's essence blood. However, now Long Chen was refining it with the Aldevil monster's essence blood. Although Long Chen split one drop of its essence blood into ten before refining the pills, each pill still contained a frightening amount of berserk energy. This particular pill is probably only suitable for Gu Yang, muttered Long Chen. If someone else consumed this top-grade giant pill, they would instantly explode. Only Gu Yang would be able to survive the ordeal. Looks like I still underestimated the power of its essence blood. I'll have to split each drop into a hundred for it to work. Long Chen split the essence blood once more, only merging a hundredth of a single drop of its essence blood into his pills. This time, he refined nine top grade normal pills. The energy in giant pills was too great and was unsuitable for the dragon blood warriors. With the blazing dragon cauldron and Huo Long's assistance, he didn't have to refine any more. They could do it on their own. Huo Long had it easy. It just used a single split body to refine pills with the blazing dragon cauldron. The rest of its bodies were absorbing the energy in the divine flame crystals. Now Long Chen focused on consuming the divine gate pills. The blazing dragon cauldron's efforts had resulted in a small mountain of divine gate pills. So Long Chen had to get to work. On this day, Long Chen started to constantly consume medicinal pills by the handful. He calculated that he had to be eating over 10,000 Divine Gate pills each day, and each one of them was a top-grade ninth-tier pill. Without the primal chaos space that allowed him to have an infinite amount of ingredients, he'd have bankrupted a sect like the Zhuanshan Dao sect in less than a month. Normally, only soul transformation alchemists could refine ninth-tier medicinal pills, 
And amongst those people, only a tenth had the possibility of refining top-grade ninth-tier pills. To refine top-grade medicinal pills didn't just require great skill. It required a certain amount of luck. Being able to refine a single top-grade pill out of a hundred furnaces was not bad. Any top-grade pills that they did refine would normally be stored by the alchemist as part of their personal collection. To them, they were treasures bestowed by the heavens, and they were symbols of their glory. That was why top-grade ninth-tier pills were basically priceless treasures on the marketplace. You wouldn't necessarily be able to buy one no matter how much money you had. Yet, Long Chen was consuming such precious treasures like candy. If the world learned of this, it would definitely make countless alchemists faint. Some people would die from fright. Some would die from the pain of having so many top-grade ninth-tier pills disappearing from the world. And some would die from rage. As Long Chen crazily consumed pills, the small dot of light in the middle of the vortex in front of his divine gate gradually changed. It seemed to be going from gaseous to liquid, and then it went from liquid to solid. At that time, the core of the star was completed. As the divine gate star strengthened, Long Chen clearly felt the connection between it and the Feng Fu, Aliyah, Life Fate, and Enlightenment Palace stars. He felt that the Divine Gate Star was sharing its power with the other four stars. Those four stars were also transforming. The five stars were growing as one. It was no wonder it was taking so long for the Divine Gate Star to advance. It was advancing while bringing the other four stars along with it. That made Long Chen feel even more anticipation for the day it was fully condensed. He could clearly feel his body going through some kind of transformation. The most obvious change was that the Qi Seas below his four stars were continuously growing stronger. His spiritual Yuan was growing more abundant. That was also what excited him the most. Both Starfall and the fifth form of Split the Heavens were huge moves that sucked up the majority of his spiritual Yuan. During the battle, he would have to choose between using one or the other. But as his four Qi Seas grew stronger, then adding on the spiritual Yuan in his 108,000 stars, he would be able to consecutively unleash his ultimate moves. Thinking of that, he felt an indescribable excitement. Before this, he had always had to be careful when fighting, making sure to get the most out of every bit of his spiritual yuan. However, it seemed that with the growth of the Divine Gate Star, he would be able to luxuriously spend his energy when fighting. Each fight with the Rank 9 Celestial was extremely taxing for him. Their manifestations constantly absorbed energy from heaven and earth to replenish their own usage. On the other hand, the world rejected him. He had to use the divine ring to force the world to give him its spiritual yuan. Now he didn't need to rely on heaven or earth. He could rely on himself. The only thing he could count on was the nine-star hegemon body art. Three days later, he had refined plenty of dragon tiger body tempering pills and came out of seclusion. Minus the ones for the Dragon Blood Legion, there were still over a thousand left for the Zhuanshan Dao sect. These pills could definitely be passed down as treasures. When Li Xiangxuan received over a thousand top grade ninth tier pills from Long Chen, he involuntarily jumped in shock. Long Chen had given him plenty of medicinal pills before this as well, but he knew that those pills had been plundered from Pill Valley. They couldn't see the light of day, and when given to disciples, they had to be consumed stealthily. Now, there were over a thousand dragon tiger body tempering pills, and they had clearly just been refined. In other words, Long Chen had personally refined all of them. Li Xiangxuan had decided not to bother or ask about Long Chen's power. Although he had known that Long Chen was very skilled in alchemy, he hadn't expected his skills to be so monstrous. When handing the pills over, Long Chen asked Li Xiangxuan to bring him to where Wild was sleeping. That was within the Zhuanshan Tower, and it was definitely safe. A pool of blood appeared beside Wild. Long Chen had brought over all the remaining essence blood of the Aldevil monster. It filled a 3,000 meter pool, and he tossed Wild in. The large cocoon around Wild began to slowly absorb the essence blood. This essence blood is comparable to the essence blood of a rank 12 magical beast. For Wild to be able to absorb it directly, he truly is terrifying, said Li Xiangxuan with shock as he saw the cocoon absorb this powerful essence blood. Xuan Master, how many ranks do magical beasts have? asked Long Chen. 13. 
It's the same as human cultivators. After 13 levels, the next step is ascending and becoming a god or immortal. However, becoming a god or immortal lies only in legend. In fact, whether or not people can reach the 13th level is a mystery, said Li Shi Angsuan. 13. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. He had 13 heaven stages in each realm. Could it be? Just at this moment, the blood pool began to bubble. A whirlpool appeared, and the blood began to rapidly fall. In just a few breaths, the blood was all absorbed into Wild's cocoon. He absorbed it all at once. Long Chen was stunned. All the pills he had refined had used just 2 to 3 percent of all the essence blood. His original plan was for Wild to absorb as much as he could and then Long Chen would save the rest of the essence blood. After all, it might be useful in the future, but he had really overthought it. After absorbing all this essence blood, silver runes appeared on the cocoon. Those runes quickly hardened, forming a seemingly metallic outer case. It was like a giant ball had enveloped Wild. The barbarian race really is terrifying. He required all this essence blood to store up enough energy for his metamorphosis. If you hadn't brought this essence blood, his metamorphosis would have probably taken thousands or even tens of thousands of years, gasped Li Shi Angsuan. The barbarian race only existed in legend, and no one truly understood them. Now that Wild was in an egg-like ball, it meant that he was finally undergoing his metamorphosis. Once he awoke, he would be like a butterfly. It was unknown what kind of form he would take. Long Chen was startled and delighted. This was a good thing. The stronger Wild was, the better. He left the Zhuanshan Tower and gathered all the Dragonblood Legion. Good brothers should share their fortune. Medicine should be eaten together. Chapter 1394 Painful Advancement Translator Born to be there was a large open space in the back of the Zhuanshan Tower. This had originally been the core plaza of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. But after it had declined, this region had simply wasted away. However, it had been reopened recently. This region was given to the Dragonblood Legion to use. Now, all the Dragonblood warriors were gathered. There were also the people close to the Dragonblood Legion. Hua Shiyu, Wang Zhen, Zhao Ziyan, Mu Qingxuan, Su Mo, and the others. Tang Wan'er had brought up whether Long Chen wanted to bring them into the Dragonblood Legion but he hadn't done so. The Dragonblood Legion was going to fight through countless bloody battles with him, as his path was filled with towering mountains and plummeting pitfalls. He didn't even know how far he could go. The Zhuanshan Dao sect had its own destiny, and he needed to leave behind a few powerful protectors for it. As for Hua Shiyu and the others, they would be the future pillars of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Boss, can we really eat this? Gu Yang was at the front of the Dragonblood Legion. He was holding a giant pill in his hands, and he felt a chill when he sensed the fluctuations coming from it. This pill seemed to possess its own life. It was like a volcano that might erupt at any moment. This was something that could be used as a killer weapon, but he wanted them to consume it. If you can absorb it through your nose, you don't have to eat it, said Long Chen. Gu Yang was speechless. His nose wasn't small but it wasn't so big that he could use it as a mouth. Gu Yang, are you even a man? A big man like you is afraid of a tiny thing like that? Hurry up and show everyone what to do. You're a captain of the Dragonblood Legion, said Guo Ran disdainfully. Right now, everyone was holding a dragon tiger body tempering pill in their hands. However, they were just holding ordinary top grade pills, while Gu Yang was holding a giant pill. Guo Ran, you shameless bastard. How about we switch pills? I guarantee I won't even bat an eye when I eat it. Rage Gu Yang. TCH. Your pill is bigger than five of ours. Boss is giving you special treatment. So you should be grateful. Shouldn't you be crying tears of gratitude? Are you suspecting boss would harm you? Guo Ran had an evil smile. All right, little brat. I'll remember this. Gu Yang nodded. He knew this fellow's ability at stirring up trouble far surpassed his. He hardened his heart and swallowed his giant pill. Boom. In less than a breath's time, Gu Yang's entire body looked like a frog being boiled. His body turned red, and explosive sounds came from it. The bricks inlaid in the ground cracked. Blood began to flow from his pores. Blood also came from his eyes, nose, ears, and mouth. Everyone was shocked. 
The blood pouring out of Gu Yang contained a huge amount of spiritual yuan. That was his core spiritual yuan. Don't fight it. The Dragon Tiger Body Tempering Pill contains a powerful essence blood that can replace your spirit blood. This is a chance for you to substitute your blood. And at the same time, your body will be tempered by it, making it even stronger, said Long Chen. Gu Yang wasn't listening. He couldn't even hear what Long Chen was saying. He was in too much pain. He let out a heaven-shaking roar that made everyone else jump in shock. Gu Yang's position in the Dragon Blood Legion was extremely high. Other than Long Chen and Wild, he was known as the manliest man. With his willpower and toughness, he still had to scream in order to release the sensation of pain. Gu Yang quickly became dyed in blood. Just looking at him gave others chills. All right, you should all be prepared now. You can consume your pills. Long Chen saw that Gu Yang didn't need any help from him and was able to forcibly withstand the power of the medicinal pill. He nodded with praise and had everyone else follow Gu Yang's lead. Guo Ran, who had previously said such big words, immediately turned green. He hadn't expected the dragon tiger body tempering pill to be so terrifying. If even Gu Yang was acting like this, wouldn't he die from the pain? However, Everyone else had already popped their pills into their mouths. Even Meng Qi and Tang Wan'er were no exception. They trusted that Long Chen wouldn't harm them. Brother Guo Ran, are you afraid? Probed one of the wood cultivators. Are you joking? When have I, Guo Ran, ever been afraid? I just feel a bit unwilling to eat something that Boss personally refined. Thinking of how Boss has worked so hard to raise the Dragon Blood Legion, spending so much blood, sweat, and tears. I just feel just eat it. Li Chi stuffed the pill into Guo Ran's mouth just as he was trying to drum up sympathy. He then clapped Guo Ran on the back of his neck, causing the pill to go down his throat. Ah, as soon as he swallowed it, Guo Ran let out a miserable shriek. He sounded like a pig being slaughtered. Shut up. The medicinal effect hasn't even activated. So what are you shouting for? Long Chen wanted to slap this bastard. Other than showing off, could he not properly cultivate? I Guo Ran had just opened his mouth when he turned as pale as paper. Then he turned scarlet as the medicinal effect activated. Once the medicinal effect activated, Guo Ran couldn't scream. He was focusing all his energy on resisting the pain. So much so that he didn't even have the energy to shout. The only things ringing out now were heavy breathing and pained groans. Blood began to leak out of everyone. Meng Qi. Tang Wan -er. Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, Mu Qingxuan, and the other women were also covered in blood, but they still clenched their teeth and persevered. Don't use your wood energy to resist it, or you won't be able to completely switch out your spirit blood. If your wood energy automatically tries to protect you, you should temporarily seal it, shouted Long Chen suddenly. Under this immense pain, the wood cultivator's spiritual energy was automatically activating to block the essence blood. The dragon tiger body tempering pills he had refined for Meng Qi, Mu Qingxuan, and the other wood cultivators had had their medicinal energy cut in half. Furthermore, he had added other medicinal ingredients to soften the violent medicinal energy. That way, its effect would erupt slower and give them more time to adjust. After all, their physical bodies were too weak, and they couldn't endure such berserk medicinal energy. As a result, the pills he had refined for them only caused a tenth of the pain the others were feeling. In actuality, the pain level that Meng Qi and the others were enduring was the normal one for the Dragon Tiger Body Tempering Pill. The ones the Dragon Blood Warriors were consuming had been modified by Long Chen. Not only had he made the medicinal effect ruthless, but he had also increased the pain level by ten times. What he wanted wasn't just to temper their bodies, but also temper their wills. Although everything was in his control, seeing Meng Qi and Tang Wan Er covered in blood still made Long Chen feel like needles were stabbing his heart. He wished he could take their place. If the Dragon Tiger body tempering pill was effective on him, he'd eat ten giant pills and go through this pain with everyone. Right now, each bit of pain they were enduring was increasing their chances of survival in future battles. The pain of the body and the pain of the mind could not compare to the pain of the heart. Back in the Jiuli secret realm, the scene of Lu Fanger and Yi's Hikyu dying in front of him had been heartrendingly painful. There was simply no way to describe it. Right now, 
Each of them was going through a hellish torment. The pain felt like it would never end. It didn't give them any hope. Although it had just been an incense stick's worth of time so far, it felt longer than ten years for them. They felt like they were on the edge of breaking down. As for Guo Ran, he had only endured for a few breaths before lying on the ground and fainting. That brat's willpower was far too weak, and he couldn't bear this pain. As a result, he triggered his mind's natural defense and fell unconscious. Even after falling unconscious, Guo Ran's body continued to undergo the effects of the dragon tiger body tempering pill. It was strengthening his body. However, it was now unable to temper his will. After an incense stick's worth of time, the wood cultivators were unable to endure any longer and fainted. They had surpassed their limits by staying conscious this long, which made Long Chen give them a thumbs up inside. Because women were innately more emotional than men, the pain of the mind was even worse for them. An hour later, Meng Qi and Mu Qingxuan also couldn't hold on. Then Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, and the others also began to fall unconscious. After six hours, the first dragon blood warrior collapsed. These six hours had felt like thirty years within that endless torment. Unable to see any hope, they had struggled for what had felt like thirty years. That willpower was shocking enough. The first dragon blood warriors to fall were more accurately the dragon mark warriors that had joined them in the central plains. They were the weakest among them, but after going through so much with them, their willpower had grown much stronger. After eight hours, only a thousand warriors of the dragon blood legion were still standing, tottering on the verge of collapse. The people that had come from the eastern wasteland were all present amongst these thousand people. That even included five women like Ching Yu. They were still persevering. Gu Yang suddenly opened his eyes. The dragon tiger body tempering pills effect had finally come to an end. The pain faded. The others also sighed with relief as their hellish torment came to an end. Don't relax too early. You've only gone through half of it. Following this, it's time for you to temper your bodies with lightning, said Long Chen slightly apologetically. Chapter 1395 Peak Power Translator Born to be lightning tempering, Gu Yang and the others didn't understand. At this time, the warriors that had fallen unconscious began to wake up as the medicinal effect wore off. Lai Long, come out and greet everyone. A sea of lightning suddenly fell from the sky, enveloping all of them. A large lightning dragon floated in the air above everyone. Everyone looked at Lai Long with shock. They sensed its new aura and felt that its pressure was ten times stronger than the final wave of their last lightning tribulation. They had seen Long Chen's lightning dragon before, but they were shocked that it had grown to such a terrifying level. Lai Long, help them out with their tempering, said Long Chen. Buzz. Countless lightning runes lit up on Lai Long's body, turning into 30-meter lightning dragons that coiled around each dragon blood warrior. Everyone was fully awake now. Only one person lay on the ground like a dead dog. However, Lai Long didn't stand on courtesy. A lightning dragon directly wrapped around Guo Ran, and when the thunder force was injected into his body, he immediately yelped. Long Chen's expression darkened, and he cursed. You shameless bastard. Of the entire legion, you were the first to fall. Even the healing sisters lasted twice as long as you. Don't you feel embarrassed to make so much noise? Lai Long, double the thunder force on him. Lai Long was very obedient, and a second lightning dragon coiled around Guo Ran. The double thunder force poured into Guo Ran's body. Today, I'll let everyone see what two dragons cooking a pig means. Just keep acting dead. Long Chen laughed sinisterly. Boss. I'm going to die, cried Guo Ran painfully. Don't worry, you won't die. And even if you do, I promise to burn a lot of paper money for you next year. I guarantee you'll have nothing to worry about in the next world, said Long Chen indifferently. Boss, I hate you. Good, I prefer this. It'd be gross if you shouted out that you loved me instead. Long Chen crossed his arms over his chest, completely indifferent to Guo Ran's plight. Guo Ran coughed up a mouthful of blood, but Long Chen refused to be shaken. Guo Ran pleaded, Boss, I'm a forging master, and I don't need to be that strong. Why can't you let me off? Long Chen ignored him. This brat always had countless excuses to get out of pain. 
Did he not realize that the pain he suffered today would be the foundation for his posing in the future? Each bit of power Guo Ran obtained would improve his posing ability. Although he understood that, he still didn't want to feel any pain. That was why Long Chen ignored his cries and had Lai Long torment him. This fellow's willpower was the weakest of everyone, so he needed extra tempering. As for everyone else, their wills were already extremely firm after the hell they had gone through. Long Chen had Huo Long temper their bodies in the gentlest way, and so they didn't even feel any pain. Instead, it felt very comfortable. Hearing Guo Ran continuously crying, everyone found it funny inside. They knew Long Chen was doing it on purpose. Furthermore, he was truly evil. He intentionally had Lai Long control its power so that Guo Ran couldn't even faint again. Boss, I'm going to go crazy. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I'm insane. Guo Ran suddenly laughed crazily. Then congratulations. I heard insane people garner the most fame. Only a crazy mortal can become an immortal. Night Guo Ran. Carry me to new heights of posing. Long Chen laughed mischievously. Tang Wan Er. Hua Shiyu. Zhao Ziyan. And the others all laughed. Men Chi couldn't help sighing that these two were a couple of clowns. One was as slippery as oil. And one was as evil as could be. They were a perfect fit. As the thunder force continued to pour in, the dragon blood warriors felt their bodies rapidly strengthening. Even the wood cultivators with extremely weak bodies felt like their bodies were brimming with strength. But the best thing for them was that after the torment of the dragon tiger body tempering pill, their spiritual strength had also advanced a level. The dragon tiger body tempering pills that Long Chen had refined for them were special, and through strengthening the physical body, it also passively increased spiritual strength. That was why even they were benefiting immensely from this pill. However, their benefits still weren't as great as the dragon blood warriors who already possessed extremely powerful physical bodies. After consuming the dragon tiger body tempering pill and going through this lightning baptism, their physical power was crazily soaring, to the point that even they felt some fear. Novaloon.com Gu Yang was the first to finish, with a single punch. The void shuddered. Gu Yang was delighted and shocked. The feeling of being full of energy was splendid. The others also finished their lightning tempering, and they were all happily surprised. They felt like they had gone through a heaven toppling transformation. A single dragon tiger body tempering pill had completely transformed their bodies. At this time, the two lightning dragons around Guo Ran also left him, but he was lying on the ground, twitching, his eyes scarlet. He had entered a crazy state. Long Chen forced Guo Ran's mouth open and stuffed a pill down his throat. Only then did he stop twitching and fall unconscious. Long Chen, don't you think you were a bit too ruthless? asked Men Chi. Although Guo Ran was a slippery little fellow, his current appearance was truly pitiable. There's no way around it. If we aren't ruthless enough to ourselves, we won't be able to handle it when our opponents are ruthless to us. Don't worry. Once he wakes up and realizes how much stronger he is, he'll run over and grovel while thanking me. Long Chen truly understood Guo Ran far too well. When he felt his new power, he would completely forget about the pain. This new strength would be the foundation of his future posing. Long Chen patted Gu Yang on the shoulder hard. Feeling how strong his body was now, he nodded in praise. The Aldevil monster had truly been powerful. Just a trace of its essence blood was able to strengthen their bodies to unprecedented heights. Boss, do you want to exchange some pointers? Asked Gu Yang suddenly. After his strength explosively grew, he wanted to test himself. All the dragon blood legion began to cheer rowdily. They also wanted to know just how much stronger they had grown. Gu Yang was the one with the greatest power in the dragon blood legion other than Long Chen and Wild. They cheered excitedly now that he challenged Long Chen. Come. I also want to see how strong you've become. Long Chen smiled. Boss, watch out. Gu Yang didn't stand on courtesy. Retreating, a crackling sound came from his body as his blood chi rose. The manifestation of a rank 8 celestial appeared behind him. Gu Yang seemed to become a furious wild beast. With his power instantly raised to its peak, a booming sound rang out. All the dragon blood warriors cheered. They felt their hot blood surging and also seemed to enter a battle state. Boom. Gu Yang stamped down, and the ground exploded. 
turning into a ray of light. He shot at Long Chen. As he reached the end of his travel, his power had reached its peak. Seeing Gu Yang's punch smashing toward him, Long Chen couldn't be careless. His 108,000 stars circulated, and he slammed his palm forward. Boom. Qi waves surged out, sending dirt and dust flying. The ground beneath Long Chen shattered, and he was forced back continuously. As expected of you, Long Chen was amazed. Gu Yang's power was dozens of times greater than before. His full force attack made Long Chen's blood flip inside him. Boss, don't hold back. Summon your battle armor. My fist is thirsting for a fight, shouted Gu Yang. His robes began to float, and runes circulated around him. His muscles instantly bulged as he used a powerful battle skill. As you wish. Boom. Heaven and earth shook. Gu Yang flew back, rolling like a calabash, and he vomited three mouthfuls of blood. The divine ring behind Long Chen and the stars in his eyes that had appeared for just a moment now vanished. He returned to his normal appearance. Boss, did you have to do that? I just wanted to compete a bit. Did you have to be so serious? Gu Yang was pulled up by someone. The bones all over his body had cracked, and his internal organs had received quite a shock. The dragon tiger body tempering pill is truly powerful. Just now, I didn't hold back, but you only received a light injury that can be instantly healed. You're pretty good, Gu Yang, praised Long Chen. Just now, he hadn't been merciful, but Gu Yang wasn't even heavily injured. He was very powerful now. If he hadn't condensed the Divine Gate Star, he probably wouldn't be a match for Gu Yang in terms of power anymore. He to be able to block boss's full strength attack. I guess I'm pretty powerful myself. Gu Yang praised himself proudly. Long Chen had always been an unrivaled expert in the same realm. Just how many people were able to block his full strength attack? It truly was something worth being proud of. With everyone's power explosively growing, Long Chen told them not to cultivate for a little while. They should form pairs and drill against each other in battles of physical power so they could get used to their new power. All in all, the Dragon Blood Legion had been risen to a new level thanks to the Dragon Tiger Body Tempering Pills. Three days later, while Long Chen was busy consuming pills, Guo Ran excitedly interrupted him. He hugged him and wanted to kiss him, which resulted in Long Chen kicking him away. Boss, you really are my beloved boss. Starting today, I. Guo Ran, am unrivaled beneath the heavens, because, I just defeated Gu Yang, shouted Guo Ran excitedly. Chapter 1396 Plotting Strategy Translator, born to be really Long Chen was startled, then he quickly recalled that once Guo Ran put on his armor, his power rose by dozens of times, his power was the lowest amongst the Dragon Blood Legion, but by wearing his armor, his power could match those of Gu Yang and the others. Now after the baptism of the Dragon Tiger Body Tempering Pill and Thunder Force, his base power had multiplied by hundreds of times. With the help of his armor, he truly was capable of defeating Gu Yang. So, do you want to challenge me too? Asked Long Chen. No, no, no. I'm not as dumb as Gu Yang. Boss, in my heart, you are a god. This junior wouldn't dare to fight you. A bootlicking smile hung on Guo Ran's face. Put away your smile. It gives me chills. If you want to say something, just say it. Long Chen shuddered upon seeing Guo Ran's expression. That smile's destructive power was immense. Boss, I need to create a new set of armor for myself. I've already designed the blueprints, but I want to see if you have any suggestions. Guo Ran took out a sheet of paper covered in symbols. This three-foot-wide paper had over 10,000 mechanisms written all over it. I get it. No wonder you're so low-key. Your armor was destroyed in the battle, wasn't it? Demanded Long Chen. Boss, when it comes to you, my heart is as bright and clear as the sun and moon. I would never challenge you. In my heart, you were right. I get it. If you keep talking, I'll end up vomiting all my pills. I'll look at your designs. Long Chen hastily waved his hands to cut Guo Ran off. He lowered his head to see the composition of his armor. Although Long Chen didn't understand forging, he had many evil thoughts in his head that made Guo Ran prostrate himself in admiration toward him. When it came to battle experience, no one could surpass Long Chen. In the past, when Guo Ran had forged his armor, 
there would always be some flaws, and Long Chen would propose some ways to fix them that had benefited Guo Ran greatly. That was why Guo Ran first brought the blueprints to Long Chen this time. Does your propulsion mechanism really have to be on your butt? Long Chen asked with a strange expression. Guo Ran helplessly said, There's no way around it. Whenever I put it on my hands, feet, or wings, it's very difficult to maintain balance. This is the best spot for it. This propulsion mechanism had been giving Guo Ran a headache for years now. Every time he accelerated, it looked like he was farting. It wasn't very becoming. However, only by placing it there could he keep his limbs and wings free. He was able to maintain his balance while not affecting his agility in battle. This old design of your armor is no longer very useful. Long Chen looked it over and shook his head. What do you mean? Guo Ran was dumbfounded. You're still focusing on wide area destruction with this armor. That's not useful to the current Dragonblood Legion. With this kind of attack style, you won't be able to kill our enemies in one blow. People with the qualifications to be our opponents will definitely be high-ranking celestials. Injuring them but not killing them is meaningless, said Long Chen. I, you're right. Guo Ran instantly understood what he was saying. His line of thinking had been too rigid. In the past, in the eastern wasteland, to pursue the greatest wide area destruction had been correct. However, now the Dragonblood Legion's numbers had risen and the opponents they were facing were powerful heavenly geniuses. He would most probably be fighting one-on-one, -on -one, only occasionally throwing out area attacks. His area attacks were now ineffective. You can get rid of your 300 area mechanisms. Switch them all for power runes. You only need 5 close-range life-protecting methods in your armor as well. Switch the rest for power runes. You should walk the path of a berserk power fighter, suggested Long Chen. All right. I'll listen to you boss. Are those runes on your wings for speed? Why are there so few? I only have three speed runes, and even they aren't very high level. I also can't carve them in a more concentrated way or they'll cancel each other's effect. Guo Ran was helpless about it. The majority of the runes he could engrave were for king items. The Zhuanshan Dao sect didn't specialize in forging items, so king items were their limit. As for the ethereal crafting secret record, Guo Ran had yet to comprehend many of those runes and couldn't add them to his forging. That's no good. With just power and no speed, you won't be able to hit anyone. I'll go ask Zheng Wenlong to get some forging tomes and material for you, said Long Chen. If he wanted Guo Ran to forge ancestral items, he couldn't be stingy. Without going all the way, any money he did put in would just be wasted. Put your personal armor to the side. Let me see your design for the Dragonblood Warrior's armor and weapons, said Long Chen. Long Chen took out two pieces of paper. They were much simpler, but they still needed over a thousand mechanisms. Novaloon.com not bad. You've carved a formation on the armor that lets everyone share their power for offense and defense. It's ingenious, praised Long Chen. Guo Ran was a genius when it came to forging. He knew that the Dragonblood Legion fought as a group. By placing formation runes on each set of armor he forged for them, they would be able to work together easier. Although there were only two options for sharing their power, one for a collective attack and one for a collective defense, this was still something Guo Ran had figured out how to do on his own. It was very impressive. I'm planning to use the scale pattern for the armor. The back and heart will be specially protected. Each scale will have a defensive rune on the front and the back will have an offensive rune linked to their weapons. That way, their weapon and armor will be connected and be able to boost each other's power, explained Guo Ran as he pointed out various parts of the diagram. During the past few days, I tried forging two ancestral items. My forging table and hammer are 100% capable of forging ancestral items. They're that strong, asked Long Chen. Yes. This forging table seems to be a divine item in and of itself. The forging hammer is the same. As my forging skills continuously advance, it's like they're slumbering divine items slowly awakening their abilities. The weight of the forging hammer always suits me perfectly. It's very strange. Now, each time I use them, I always kowtow to them first. I can feel a faint connection to them now, said Guo Ran. His respect for the forging table had only risen. When he mentioned it, 
His mischievous smile was replaced with a devout expression. Long Chen nodded. It seemed that Guo Ran was someone with a great destiny. The forging table he had pulled out of an ancient tomb in the Jiuli secret realm had to possess an extremely terrifying history. Forging ancestral items isn't a problem now, but there is one major problem. That's the item spirit. Without an item spirit, an ancestral item can't possibly unleash the power an ancestral item should possess. It will just be like a king item with a bit more energy, said Guo Ran. Ancestral items were nourished by generations of experts. That resulted in a powerful item spirit that could assist the master in unleashing the item's full power. An ancestral item needed an item spirit. That wasn't difficult. Even forging masters who could only refine king items were more than capable of adding an item spirit to a weapon. However, the problem was nourishing that item spirit. That process required centuries. For an ancestral item to reach its peak would require millennia. That was what made them so precious. And it was simply impossible for Guo Ran to do the same in a short period. You just forge them. I'll handle adding the item spirits, said Long Chen. As long as Guo Ran was capable of forging them, it wasn't a problem. Guo Ran didn't disappoint Long Chen. In just three days, he brought a scale armor and sword set that were on the level of ancestral items. However, they were still a mock up and hadn't had any additional runes inscribed on them. Guo Ran was just letting Long Chen see their appearance. If there was no problem, he would start forging them en masse. Over half of the Dragonblood Legion used swords. Long Chen sighed emotionally as he held the sword. Guo Ran was truly a blessing to him. Who would have thought that his forging table would be so amazing that it could even forge ancestral items? The length, width, height, weight, shape, everything about it was very satisfactory. Long Chen told Guo Ran to imprint an image of a divine dragon on the weapons. That would be the mark of the Dragonblood Legion. Since Long Chen was satisfied, Guo Ran quickly finished the armor and sword. They were both fiery red and contained a huge amount of flame energy. That was the result of being forged with divine flame crystals. They possessed a powerful flame attribute, which wasn't suitable for wood or water element cultivators. Fortunately, those two attributes were rather rare, and only a couple hundred of them existed in the Dragonblood Legion. The others could use these. Long Chen put on the armor and wielded the sword, testing their power. As expected, without item spirits, there was no way to unleash the power of ancestral items. Since everything was confirmed, Guo Ran went into seclusion and began to forge the scale armor and swords. Since the materials being used were of the highest quality, the forging table seemed to be receiving some kind of nourishment and seemed to be awakening. That delighted Guo Ran, and he began forging like his life depended on it. As for Long Chen, he sent a letter to Zheng Wenlong. Zheng Wenlong's efficiency was extremely high, and in just 10 days, he had gathered a large pile of forging runes and ancient tomes perfect for Guo Ran's level. He had also brought over a mass of ancestral items materials. Of course. Long Chen wouldn't let Zheng Wenlong suffer a loss. He directly gave him a thousand divine flame crystals and one of those giant divine crystals. When Zheng Wenlong saw that giant divine crystal, he was completely dumbfounded. The divine energy within it made it a priceless treasure. Even he didn't possess the qualifications to auction off such a terrifying treasure. Long Chen said that Zheng Wenlong should simply take it and treat it as him paying off all his debts. He trusted the Huai insect and the way they conducted their business. After sending off Zheng Wenlong, Long Chen went into seclusion. The rest of the Dragonblood Legion also went into seclusion with a pile of medicinal pills that Long Chen had given them. Those were the pills he had plundered from Pill Valley. They had Pill Valley's mark and so they couldn't be sold. They should be used for private consumption. As a result, Everyone entered a state of constant medication. Chapter 1397 Portal to the Spirit World Translator Born to be Long Chen We've managed to get news of Chu Yao Long Chen was in the midst of eating his food as fast as possible when Meng Chi and Tang Wan Er came flying into his room. Long Chen spat out the pills accidentally. Then he hastily stuffed them into his mouth and swallowed. Are you serious? He, it's true. The Huai insects people sent this over. Open it. Tang Wan'er pushed a jade case into Long Chen's hands. Long Chen's hands trembled. 
Despite having faced armies of thousands of powerful enemies, he had never been this nervous before. He slowly opened the jade case. Inside, there was a verdant leaf that looked almost crystalline. It emitted boundless life energy. The entire room became filled with life energy. The potted plants Meng Chi had placed in Long Chen's room all began to rapidly grow as they overflowed with vitality. The dragon swims across the four oceans. The phoenix flies throughout the nine lands. Seas of blood may block us, but we will never give up our path. Dragon and phoenix will both live to old age. These four lines were on the leaf. This was the promise the two of them had made to each other during the Phoenix Cry Lantern Festival. The first two lines were what Chu Yao had summoned the courage to say to express her life for Long Chen while she was stuck in an inescapable cage. The last two lines were what Long Chen had sworn in front of all the experts of the capital. Although they contained some of the frivolity of youth, the two of them truly loved each other. Seeing these words, Long Chen's tears almost overflowed. These words were not written on the leaf. Instead, they were the result of the natural vein lines on the leaf. In other words, they had formed when this leaf was born. Although Long Chen didn't know how Chu Yao had managed to do this, just from this small leaf, he could feel how much Chu Yao missed him and her heartfelt feelings. For him, Chu Yao had sacrificed far too much. She had gone all alone into the central plains, a foreign world. She had done this despite how much she yearned to be with him. All the case held was this leaf. There was no letter. But Long Chen could already understand Chu Yao's heart. The emotions between them had reached the point that they couldn't be described with words. Men Chi and Tang Wan'er were both aware of his past with Chu Yao. They exchanged a look, both feeling pity. They had been with Long Chen this entire time. Although it had been dangerous and they had gone through countless battles. They were able to fight alongside Long Chen. They were much more fortunate than Chu Yao. I wonder how big sister Chu Yao is lately. Why hasn't she come to see us? Asked Tang Wan'er. Chu Yao should be in a very critical period and can't come. Otherwise, she'd definitely come and find us. Don't worry, the current Chu Yao is stronger than any of us. Long Chen gently stroked the leaf with a faint smile. He sensed many things from this leaf. Stronger than any one of us? Is she stronger than you? Asked Tang Wan'er with disbelief. At the very least, she's stronger than the current me. Long Chen nodded. This leaf contained a familiar aura. That was an aura he had felt from Pill Valley's Pill Fairy, as well as the illusory music Immortal Palace's Zi Yan. At the same time, he thought of four dislikable figures that had appeared in the immemorial path. When Yu Ziaokian was about to pass her tribulation, those four idiots had almost caused her to be killed by her tribulation. In his fury, Long Chen had provoked the heavenly deos and brought down heavenly punishment. That had ruined those four's tribulations and scared them off. Could it be that those four are also existences on that level? Wondered Long Chen. He felt boundless life energy from this leaf. As well as boundless heavenly Tao energy. Although it was just a single leaf. It seemed to represent the will of the heavens. Its existence broke all the laws around it. Meng Chi. One or. Your cultivation bases have pretty much stabilized. You should refine the rank 9 heavenly Tao fruits. As for the remaining three, hand them to Gu Yang, Song Mingyuan, and Li Qi. Guo Ran doesn't have the time. Long Chen handed five rank 9 heavenly Tao fruits to them. Four of them had come from Pill Valley's Kuo Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin. Although they had been killed by the Aldevil monster and not him personally, as long as someone died around Long Chen, their heavenly Tao energy would be absorbed by the primal chaos space and condensed into a heavenly Tao fruit. The fifth fruit came from the ancient family alliance's Luo Mingheo. He also wasn't killed by Long Chen, but by Meng Chi. That idiot had been so incredibly unbridled that he had completely infuriated Meng Chi. He had spoken so many profanities and insulted Long Chen so much that she hadn't hesitated at all. Wild was sleeping, while Yu Zifeng had been brought away by Ling Yunzi to the Heavenly Sword Gate. But of course, those two had special cultivation paths and didn't need the Heavenly Tao fruit. Men Chi and Tang Wan'er weren't surprised when Long Chen brought the Rank 9 Heavenly Tao fruit out. He had already told them everything that had happened in Pill Valley. However, he had wanted to raise their power before letting them refine the Heavenly Tao fruit. 
the order of priority couldn't be messed up. He also took out plenty of rank 8 and rank 7 heavenly Tao fruits for Menchi to distribute. Three months passed without any disturbance. No one came to find trouble for the Zhuanshan Dao sect Pill Valley didn't do anything. Instead, a very unsettling piece of news spread. Problems had occurred in the circulation of pills coming out of Pill Valley, and that shook the entire cultivation world. People quickly managed to investigate the truth. When that master Long San had plundered Pill Valley, he had taken all their medicinal pills and ingredients. This news threw the cultivation world into a panic. Without medicinal pills, the world would enter chaos. Pill Valley did their best to hide the truth because they hadn't wanted to cause a panic. However, their ability at keeping secrets was far too lacking to succeed in such a venture. Countless sects turned to the Huaian sect who viewed alchemy as a side business. Many sects were afraid of not being able to have their medicinal pill requirements be met by Pill Valley, so they secretly went to buy pills from the Huaian sect. The Huaian sect's stock of medicinal pills was quickly bought out, but countless sects were won over by their actions. Even though the demand had been so high, they hadn't inflated the price at all. Therefore, Many sects began to sign long-term purchasing contracts with the Huaian sect. The Huaian sect always kept such contracts secret, and there were many measures in place to keep others from learning of them. As a result, the various large sects all formed agreements with the Huaian sect this way. They would have two sources for medicinal pills. This was the best option for them. Even those sects that had been hugging Pill Valley's leg from the start were starting to sway. That was because Pill Valley was hard-pressed, and their interior was still a mess. They couldn't bother with outsiders. These sect's disciples had been killed by Long Chen because they had been currying favor with Pill Valley. However, Pill Valley hadn't given them any compensation. It didn't even say a single word of comfort. Now, even those loyal followers had no choice but to side closer to the Huaian sect Pill Valley couldn't do anything as the Huaian sect expanded its business into the pill market. Right now, they were doing their utmost to refine more pills to meet the market demand. They could only pick medicinal ingredients from their fields, but some of them took hundreds or thousands of years to mature. Without their previous stock, there was no way for them to meet the demand. All of Pill Valley was in disorder and they truly hated Master Long San now. The elders and disciples belonging to the radical faction were all repeatedly cursed, but they couldn't even retort. However, after a moment of chaos, the waves passed. After calming down, the sects realized that they had been worrying over nothing. They already possessed a large stock of medicinal pills that could last them for many years. During this time, Pill Valley or the Huaian sect would be constantly trying to resolve this problem. If they couldn't buy medicinal pills, well, others couldn't either. Everyone would be on even playing grounds, so there was no need to panic. This wasn't something that would cause some sects to be wiped out and others to dominate, so there was no need to panic. Everyone could suffer together. The waves caused by the shortage of medicinal pills passed. But another even more shocking piece of news spread throughout the world. The heaven-devouring forest's tree demons had suddenly left this world, leaving behind a huge spatial portal. That portal led to the spirit world. Rumor said that the spirit world possessed countless treasures. Divine springs littered the ground, and just drinking a mouthful of its water could extend a person's longevity by hundreds of years. The continent was rocked. Experts wanted to go adventuring. But this news came too suddenly. It had to be known that the heaven-devouring forest was one of the seven great forbidden zones. The life forms of the forest were even more terrifying than magical beasts. People suspected that it was a trap. However, there was no lack of people who wanted to go on adventures. Some experts finally couldn't help going. The first person was a life star expert, and he was instantly rejected by the spatial portal. His physical body exploded and only his Yuan spirit escaped. People immediately realized that life star experts could not enter this spatial portal. So a soul transformation expert tested his luck. He was also forced back, but because his cultivation base was lower, he only suffered a light backlash. Finally, Jade Core disciples managed to go through the portal and enter the spirit world. They entered one by one, but none of them returned. Yet, some sects still sent some of their disciples to test their luck. 
Finally, a disciple managed to return alive. He brought back a shocking piece of news. A huge war was being fought in the spirit world. This news shook the central plains. This was the best chance to dredge up some benefits. The righteous path, corrupt path, ancient races, and ancient family alliance sent countless jade core geniuses to the spatial portal. As for when Long Chen heard this news, he immediately gathered the dragon blood legion. I will finally repay the debt I owe from back then. Chapter 1398 Heading for the Spirit World Translator Born to be just as Long Chen gathered the dragon blood legion, Li Xiangxuan came to find him. He gravely warned, Think carefully about this. That place is like a pool of muddy water. It involves many things. Long Chen was startled. He couldn't figure out what exactly Li Xiangxuan was saying. An entrance to the spirit world had been opened and adventurers had already gone to test their luck. How was it a pool of muddy water? If he said that it was dangerous, that would make sense. But a pool of muddy water? That was dumbfounding. Let him go. The Zhuanshan Tower's voice rang out. But senior there's nothing to say. Long Chen is well aware that that place is dangerous. Since he wants to go, it means he has his reasons. Since you've decided to let go, you should let go completely. Li Xiangxuan's expression was helpless, while Long Chen's expression was questioning. It seemed they knew something but refused to tell him. Once Long Chen left, Li Xiangxuan stood in the Zhuanshan Tower. The Zhuanshan Tower's ancient voice rang out once more. From the eastern wasteland to the central plains, Long Chen has never walked the common path. Even if you told him everything, you wouldn't change his decision. Instead, you would simply draw karma to yourself. In my eyes, that is very foolish. But senior, the spirit world involves so many different things. Once Long Chen enters, no one can control Long Chen's fate. No one is qualified to guide him down his path. Since you've chosen to leave the Zhuanshan Dao sect's fate to him, you should give him free reign. Sometimes speaking is an instinct, while not speaking is the truly wise choice. The Zhuanshan Tower's voice was completely calm as if this was an extremely minor affair. Disciple was foolish. Thank you for your guidance. Li Xiangxuan took a deep breath. Your concern caused your thoughts to become muddled. You've lost your initial transcendent attitude. When you decided to give the Zhuanshan Dao sect to Long Chen, you were someone outside the game. But once you left it to him, you became someone inside the game. The viewpoints between the two are immense. People inside the game see a mountain as a mountain, water as water. But people outside the game know a mountain is not just a mountain, and water is not just water. A spark of comprehension appeared in Li Xiangxuan's eyes, and he knelt on the ground, respectfully saying, Many thanks for your guidance. Senior the Zhuanshan Tower had been the divine item of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's patriarch. Even the Xuan master had to call Themself disciple in front of it. There's no need to thank me. If you want to thank someone, thank Long Chen or perhaps the high priest of the wine god palace. It was his wine that allowed your mental realm to rise to an unprecedented height. While I just gave you some slight guidance, you've reached the peak of life star and can enter the netherworld whenever you want. But the Zhuanshan Dao sect still needs you for now. Your master is at a critical juncture, so you can't attempt to break through. I know. Li Xiangxuan nodded. As for Long Chen's matter, don't bother with him. Just keep the attitude of a spectator. The lines of fate are in chaos, and the world is about to change. You are not this era's main character, so being a spectator isn't necessarily something bad, said the Zhuanshan Tower. Could it be that even if I entered the Nether Passage realm, I still wouldn't be able to play a leading role in this era? Li Xiangxuan bitterly smiled. Child, with your talent as an acquired rank 9 celestial who is qualified to attack the Nether Passage realm in just 800 years, you can already count as a genius. However, this stage is not for you. So, just be content as a spectator all right. I'll listen to you. I'll be a spectator, said Li Xiangxuan helplessly. Li Xiangxuan was over 800 years old, but for life star experts. A single round of seclusion might last over a hundred years or several hundred years. So, he was actually very young. The other heavenly geniuses in the same generation as him had all slowly fallen or been thrown so far behind that they would never catch up. Recently, 
he had touched the door to the nether passage realm, and so a competitive drive had been ignited in him again. Based on the Zhuanshan Tower's words, even if he reached that realm, he would still just be a spectator. That was quite the blow. However, the Zhuanshan Tower was the first generation patriarch's divine item. Li Xiangxuan felt great reverence for it. Then should the reincarnation mirror be sent to escort Long Chen? Asked Li Xiangxuan. This time, the Zhuanshan Tower didn't bother answering. Li Xiangxuan couldn't help but blush, and he hastily said, Disciple knows his mistake. Boss, when did you get such an amazing flying boat? Guo Ran excitedly cried out as he drove the flying boat. This was thousands of times better than any flying boat he had ever driven. The entire Dragonblood Legion was on the flying boat. But this time, Long Chen only brought the Dragonblood Legion. He hadn't brought Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, and the others. He had noticed that they were slightly different from the Dragonblood Warriors. That was because they had originally been peak heavenly geniuses, and they lacked a kind of determination to press forward even in the face of death. As for the Dragonblood Legion, both the old Dragonblood Warriors and the newer Dragon Mark Warriors had been lacking in talent. The only reason they had been able to climb to their current height was because they had worked as if their lives depended on it. They possessed the resolve to put their lives on the line, as they hadn't been blessed with anything. They weren't afraid of losing it. Geniuses all possessed a feeling of superiority. They were unable to truly maintain the same heart as the Dragonblood Legion. Although they listened to Long Chen's orders, and there was no need to question their loyalty, there was simply something that couldn't be clearly explained lacking within them. Because they were lacking that thing, in the end, they were unable to be one with the Dragonblood Legion. Furthermore, this trip to the spirit world was not a vacation. There would definitely be a bloody slaughter. Thus, Long Chen didn't want to implicate anyone outside the Dragonblood Legion. This trip to the spirit world was to repay his debts. If the expert from the spirit world hadn't bestowed him with the divine life elixir, he'd have long since died. Wild would also have died. And it was unknown just many of the people beside him right now would also be dead. He owed that expert a huge debt. As for the Dragonblood Legion, they were his life and death brothers. So they naturally went with him. He didn't want to draw anyone else into his problems. This flying boat was gifted to me. Long Chen lazily reclined in a chair in the control room. Meng Chi and Tang Wan'er were pouring tea for him, and he received a cup from Meng Chi. Gifted? Who was so nice? Asked Guo Ran. Who knows how many hearts of beauties he seduced this time. Being gifted a single flying boat isn't much. Am I right? Master Long San. Tang Wan'er raised her brows at Long Chen. Her bright eyes were locked onto his, seeming to piece into his heart. Long Chen almost spat out his tea, smiling a smile that wasn't a smile. He said, Girl, with your little bit of spiritual strength, you shouldn't try using spiritual peeping arts on me. He didn't know what she was thinking. She was using her spiritual strength to sense if he was lying, but her spiritual strength wasn't able to do such a thing to him. Scoundrel, stop changing the subject. Speak. Did you seduce any beauties this time? Tang Wan'er was embarrassed, and her embarrassment quickly turned into rage. She grabbed Long Chen's collar, without even thinking about it. I know it definitely happened. If he didn't do such a thing, he wouldn't be the boss, said Guo Ran. Perhaps he was thinking of the pain he had suffered when being tempered by lightning. Long Chen raged. You. Just fly the boat. Don't worry boss. With my technique. I can fly with my eyes closed. Sister Wan'er, I'm willing to bet that this time, Boss seduced at least three beauties on his trip to Pill Valley. If you don't believe me, just keep questioning him. Of course, with Boss's calm, just asking isn't useful. Without a bit of torture, he won't speak the truth. So how about this? If it's less than three, I'll eat this flying boat, promised Guo Ran. Big Sister Meng Chi, you come and try. Tang Wan'er kept a tight grip on Long Chen as she called out to Meng Chi. Long Chen clenched his teeth when he saw Guo Ran's pleased expression. It seemed that this little fellow's confidence had inflated. Now he even dared to con his boss. Stop messing around. Long Chen went to Pill Valley for proper things. He wouldn't act as unreasonably as you're saying. Meng Chi shook her head. Meng Chi, thank you for your trust. You really treat me the best. 
Long Chen was extremely moved. Men Chi truly was the best. However, I'm very curious. Is that pill very very beautiful Men Qi's beautiful eyes contained a teasing light. Come of the change in subject came so suddenly that Long Chen was caught off guard. He was still filled with gratitude toward her when she pulled the subject right back. Only Men Qi, Tang Wan'er, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan knew about his trip to Pill Valley. The other Dragonblood warriors had no idea. Boss, is that pill fairy really like a real life fairy? Did you manage to seduce her? Aya Guo Ran turned back with a mischievous smile when he was suddenly slapped by Long Chen. Long Chen's sudden attack caused Men Qi and Tang Wan Er to let out startled cries. Guo Ran's words were cut off in the middle, and the control mechanism in his hand tilted. The flying boat was in the midst of passing through two large mountains, and as a result, it tilted and crashed into one. Boom. A large jag appeared on the mountain, and the flying boat shuddered violently. Fortunately, its defenses automatically activated, and it wasn't damaged. Sorry boss. Sorry. I'll properly fly the boat. You guys can chat. Seeing Long Chen's dark expression, Guo Ran hastily turned away, making sure not to say another word. The sound of Gu Yang's cursing rang out from above. The collision just now had been especially aggravating for him and the others. This flying boat was something Long Chen had stolen from Pill Valley, but the outside had already been disguised. The original markings had been removed so that it no longer looked like Pill Valley's flying boat. Just as Tang Wan'er was interrogating Long Chen for details about the Pill Ferry, the flying boat slowly descended to where the heaven-devouring forest had once been. Chapter 1399 Strange Translator Born to be Long Chen could no longer recognize this place. The heaven-devouring forest's towering trees had all vanished. The ground looked like it had been freshly overturned. It was like this entire land had been plowed and was simply left to nature. Wild growth grew everywhere. The flying boat continued forward, but Long Chen was puzzled. The horde of adventurers he had expected to see rushing in this direction never appeared. Although he did see a few, they were sparse and isolated, only in small groups of just several people. What's going on? Why would only so few people come for such a good opportunity wondered Tang Wan Er. Is it that it's too dangerous? So they don't dare. Guo Ran was also suspicious. The heaven devouring forest's name is on the same level as Devil Spirit Mountain. But Devil Spirit Mountain had so many people adventuring inside. It doesn't make sense. Men Chi shook her head. According to reason, something this huge would have shaken all the Central Plains geniuses. And they would have flocked over. But they didn't see any large groups. Even groups over 10 people were very rare. Seeing how few adventurers there were, Long Chen thought of Li Xiangxuan's warning. Was this to say that he knew what was going on with the spirit world? The flying boat quickly reached the spatial portal at the center of this region. From a distance, it looked like the gaping maw of a giant beast that was patiently waiting for its prey to enter. The spatial portal was dozens of miles wide giving off violent spatial fluctuations. The space around it rippled like water. This was a spatial portal that had existed for countless years, and the spatial channel inside was completely stable. It was like a door to the spirit world. However, this place had been the heart of the heaven-devouring forest and had always been a forbidden land to human cultivators. If the heaven-devouring forest's tree demons hadn't suddenly vanished, no one would have known that there was such a spatial portal here. This spatial portal was opened by the tree demons and was made for them. Human soul transformation experts and above would feel a strong sense of expulsion if they tried to enter, and if they forced it, the spatial backlash would kill them. Long Chen put away the spatial boat. The dragonblood warriors stood in front of the spatial portal, all of them feeling their spirits rise. Long Chen had said that they were going to return a debt. Long Chen's debt was their debt. And they also wanted to take a look at the legendary spirit world. Let's go. Long Chen led the way. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er followed right behind him. And then the rest of the Dragonblood warriors. Gu Yang and Guo Ran took the rear. Buzz. Space shook. And the scene in front of Long Chen changed. He saw he was standing on top of a mountain. An endless forest stretched beyond the horizon. This is the spirit world? What strong life energy fluctuations exclaimed Tang Wan'er. But this air also contains something evil. For Meng Qi, 
This was her second trip to the spirit world. She could sense that this place was different from the last place they had entered from. Long Chen hadn't even had a chance to completely capture the scenery around him before a blood red sword slashed toward him from an odd angle. Over ten other figures appeared with the sword, attacking Long Chen. Wind blades suddenly formed in the air, slicing through those people like flying knives. Tang Wan'er was now a rank 9 celestial, and her control over wind energy had reached the point that she could control it at will. Even without forming hand seals, she could control the surrounding wind. There from the corrupt path, Meng Chi was surprised. There were a total of 17 of them, and 16 of them were soul transformation experts. These people were all very weak. They were only rank 3 celestials. But the shocking thing was that they were soul transformation experts. Just how had they entered the spirit world? The rest of the Dragonblood Legion now entered. The first thing they saw were the corpses on the ground. Sorry, I couldn't control my energy perfectly. Tang Wan'er stuck out her tongue with embarrassment. As a rank 9 celestial, even just a random attack from her contained the might of the heavenly deos. These people were too weak. Even their Yuan spirits were destroyed. How strange. They were from the corrupt path. So they should have recognized Long Chen. Were they trying to get themselves killed by attacking him? Meng Chi was trying to make sense of what was going on. If you were to ask who the corrupt path wanted to kill the most, it would definitely be Long Chen. Whether it was in the eastern wasteland or the central plains, Long Chen had killed countless of their experts. That incident on Devil Spirit Mountain had especially been vicious. Long Chen had killed so many of their geniuses. Therefore, now that the corrupt path as a whole hated Long Chen, how could their people attack and fail to recognize him? No one could figure that out. Even Long Chen himself couldn't tell what was going on. He could only vaguely feel just how grave this matter was. Li Xiangxuan had clearly known some things and wanted to tell him, but the Zhuanshan Tower had prevented him from doing so. Kill. Suddenly, a furious roar came from the distance. Experts from the corrupt path charged over. There were dozens of them, but what was shocking was that half of them were life star experts. You, your Long Chen? Ha ha ha. Kill him. Their leader suddenly recognized Long Chen and began to laugh with delight. A rank 5 celestial dares to be so arrogant Gu Yang flew out, his spear striking like a poisonous snake. That life star expert was startled as this bald fellow made his soul shudder. Feeling that this baldy posed a mortal threat to him, he took out his corrupt weapon, a curved blade with an evil aura coming out of it. He raised it against Gu Yang's spear. Boom. His corrupt weapon shattered and he himself was blown apart by Gu Yang's spear. His Yuan spirit tried to escape, but it was destroyed by another thrust of Gu Yang's spear. A life star expert was instantly slain by Gu Yang. Both the corrupt experts and the dragon blood warriors were shocked. However, Long Chen had expected this. These life star experts were the weakest existences in their realm. For rank 3 celestials, due to their limited talent, reaching the Jade Core realm would normally be their limit. The limit for rank 4 celestials was soul transformation, and the limit for rank 5 celestials was the life star realm. This so-called limit referred to never being able to advance again after making their breakthrough. In other words, once a rank 5 celestial broke through to the life star realm, their cultivation bases wouldn't advance again. These people's cultivation bases would be stuck in the state of someone who had just broken through. They couldn't even count as having reached the first heaven stage. It was a bit similar to how Liu Kang had used a life star bead to break through. However, these people were even weaker than Liu Kang, and their weapons were all inferior king items, with half not even having reached the king item level. As for Gu Yang's spear, it was an ancestral item Long Chen had brought out of Devil Spirit Mountain. In the first clash, that curved blade was as weak as paper and the life star expert was slain. Kill them all. Meng Chi, see if you can soul sark them. Long Chen waved his hand, giving out his orders. Kill. Gu Yang felt like his heart was about to burst with joy after killing a life star expert in one blow. This feeling of accomplishment was truly stimulating. His spear unleashed a wave of spear images at the corrupt experts. The dragon blood legion instantly surrounded those people. Tang Wan'er, Li Qi and Song Mingyuan all attacked. What they found strange was that these life star experts were truly weak. 
they were all killed in just a few exchanges. As for the soul transformation experts, they were even weaker, weaker than ordinary Jade Core disciples. They might not even be a match for the Zhuanshan Dao sect's outer sect Jade Core disciples. The Dragonblood Legion had never encountered such weak life star experts. They were all slain in just a few breaths, dumbfounding the Dragonblood warriors. They were just too weak. Boss, what's going on? Gu Yang's excitement vanished. He was just stunned at how weak these people had been. How was it? Meng Qi Long Chen didn't reply to him. Instead turning to Meng Qi, Meng Qi's hand slowly came out of their seal. A rune on her forehead faded, and she opened her eyes, shaking her head. Their souls were filled with restrictions, and I couldn't get anything of value from them. They're the corrupt path's weakest existences and aren't even fighting experts. Normally, they are in charge of gathering information and thus the corrupt path doesn't view them highly. These people's longevity was coming to an end, so they were sent to kill any disciples that entered from this channel. But there is one piece of important news I obtained. They didn't enter from this spatial portal. Instead, they entered through other means. Other means. Yes, their memories were sealed. But by scouring the fragments of their souls, I was able to piece together that they had entered the spirit world from a large transportation formation. Furthermore, the number of people that came with them was extremely, extremely great. Meng Chi was now worried. The corrupt path's transportation formation could dispatch experts above the Jade Core realm. Meanwhile, the outside world's experts could only send in Jade Core disciples and below. In this case, the righteous path's disciples would be slaughtered if they encountered the corrupt path here. The scent of a scheme was growing stronger. The corrupt path's experts had entered the spirit world in force. For the Dragonblood Legion to have also entered, they had essentially stepped into the corrupt path's hive. Long Chen thought about it for a while before shaking his head. The old man said constantly using brains to resolve problems will cause a person's body to regress and their guts to shrink. There's no need to think too much about it. It doesn't matter what they're scheming. All we have to do is flip the heavens as usual. When has the Dragonblood Legion ever been afraid? Then he raised his hand and summoned the flying boat. Since they want to play with their secret schemes, we'll just use an open scheme. Let's move out. Chapters 1400 Piles of White Bones Translator Born to be the flying boat shot through the air like a streak of light. It was completely unbridled and fearless. Below them was an endless sea of trees. Boss. Don't you think this is too unbridled? Asked Guo Ran as he controlled the flying boat. No need to worry. Just keep flying like this. The more carefully we travel, the easier they'll find us. Perhaps by flying so openly, we can pass ourselves off as belonging here, said Long Chen. Since the corrupt path could enter this place without any restrictions on their cultivation base, Long Chen wanted to test if the tree demons might view them as from the corrupt path. He also realized why they hadn't seen disciples of other sects rushing over to the spatial portal. The sect leaders of the various sects must be aware of some secrets and had warned their disciples not to come. He didn't know why the Zhuanshan Tower would prevent Li Xiangxuan from telling him those things, but he knew the Zhuanshan Tower wouldn't harm him. If the Zhuanshan Tower wouldn't tell him, he would find the answer on his own. What direction should we go then? Asked Guo Ran Novaloon.com Just close your eyes and fly. As long as you don't fly into any mountains, you can go wherever you want, replied Long Chen. Boss, can you not mess around so much? I'm talking seriously. I'm talking seriously as well. The spirit world's huge, and I don't even know where the person I'm looking for is. So you can fly wherever you want, said Long Chen. Last time, he had come with Meng Chi to the spirit world and they had only seen a single corner of the spirit world. They hadn't entered very deeply. When he compared the huge trees they had seen at that time with the heaven-devouring forest's tree demons, he found that what they had seen last time weren't worth anything. So they could fly around blindly. Heavens, these trees are giant. Meng Chi, Tang Wanur, and the others all let out a startled cry. The trees in front of them blocked out the sun, turning the world dark. We were just in the outer region before. Now we've entered the real spirit world. Guo Ran. Keep flying like before. Just charge through directly. Said Long Chen. These trees were so tall that the flying boat couldn't fly above them. 
the airflow that high would cause huge resistance and greatly impact their speed. Guo Ran involuntarily gulped at the sight of these somewhat sinister giant trees. He had never seen trees like this. They gave off a feeling similar to magical beasts bearing their teeth. However, with Long Chen's orders, he could only steal himself and send the flying boat charging through their midst. The darkness in front of them was endless. The sunlight was completely blocked by the leaves. This was a world of darkness, of deathly silence. However, the flying boat didn't slow down. It continued charging forward, and these sinister trees didn't do anything to stop them. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. This was truly abnormal. Although these tree demons were low tier, they definitely had to have some intelligence. According to reason, they shouldn't permit the flying boat to continue so brazenly. Increase the speed. Guo Ran slowly increased the flying boat's speed to its max. Just as everyone's hearts were clenching tightly, these huge trees opened a path for them. Boss, why is the path starting to curve? Called out Guo Ran. The path the trees had opened was not straight. It doesn't matter. Just follow the path, said Long Chen. This wide path finally let in some sunlight. It was the only light in this world of darkness. They rushed forward on this path, but everyone was still tense. Through this flight, they finally recognized the terror of the spirit world. Even after three days and nights of travel, they were still on this path. The flying boat was going at max speed. The distance they had crossed would probably be enough to even cross the martial heaven sea ring. Boss, another flying boat has appeared, cried out Guo Ran. Another flying boat was up ahead, but it was much smaller than theirs. After all, this flying boat had been stolen from Pill Valley. It was the highest grade flying boat. Just a few seconds after noticing the second flying boat, they caught up. It's from the ancient races. Everyone easily recognized that the flying boat belonged to the ancient races just from the mark. There were thousands of ancient race experts on the flying boat. An elder standing at the front of the flying boat shouted, Which power are you from? Why haven't you displayed your symbol? Boss, what do we do? Asked Guo Ran. Long Chen thought about it for a moment. He couldn't figure out why these ancient race experts would be here. Furthermore, that elder was clearly a life star expert. Eliminate them, boss. Are you joking? Guo Ran jumped in shock. Don't waste words. Slowly open the barrier. We're attacking, said Long Chen. The flying boat's runes lit up. The barrier slowly opened, allowing the ancient race experts to see which power they were from. They were first dumbfounded to see a mass of people, but when they saw one guy in particular who was waving at them, when they saw that extremely friendly smile, their expressions instantly changed. Long Chen, boom. Just as they were shocked by the sight of Long Chen, a huge cannonball smashed into their flying boat. The ancient races hadn't expected that they would be attacked. And Long Chen was truly evil to store up energy as they slowly lowered the barrier. As a result, the ancient races flying boat exploded, and all the people on it were killed. Even the life star expert was not an exception. Because it had come so suddenly, they hadn't been prepared at all. The explosion of their flying boat's core was so destructive that not even their Yuan spirits escaped. Although the explosion also affected the giant trees, Long Chen had told Guo Ran to fly away at top speed as soon as the attack was launched. They were already rushing away. Strange. Why didn't these trees attack us? Wondered Guo Ran. It's not strange. The ancient races and the corrupt path have very likely come to reinforce the heaven-devouring forest, said Long Chen. From his various tests and the fact that Li Xiangxuan had wanted to warn him, as well as Pill Valley's relationship with the heaven devouring forest, Long Chen had come up with a very brazen theory. The forest divinity he had encountered in the outskirts of the Phoenix Cry Empire had possessed a holy and divine aura. It had been completely different from the berserk and evil aura of these tree demons. It was likely that the spirit world possessed two great powers. One was the side of the forest divinity while the heaven-devouring forest represented the other side. As for the experts that said that a war was being fought in the spirit world, that was nonsense. It was part of the corrupt path scheme. They were trying to draw more adventurers to their deaths. There had been so many experts guarding the spatial portal. Although they were incredibly weak for the Dragonblood Legion, they could easily slaughter Jade Core disciples. Most importantly, 
This situation in the spirit world was definitely known by Li Xiang Xuan. His warning was definitely going to be that other sects weren't letting their disciples come because this wasn't a good opportunity, but a sinister trap instead. They continued flying for two more days, and the huge trees slowly dwindled in number. Replacing the forest was a barren mountain range. The ground had been destroyed, and the scars of battle were still present. A dense scent of blood still hung in the air. It seems we've reached the battlefield. Let's continue onward, but carefully. We might end up joining a bloody battle at any moment, and there won't be any time to warm up, called out Long Chen. He couldn't conceal his excitement. He had owed this debt for a long, long time, and that pressure had been like a stone weighing down his heart the entire time. He wanted to cast it away as soon as possible. As they continued onward, he realized that this battlefield was even larger than he had thought. The ground below them was stained red with blood, and there were huge skeletons as large as mountains. Their flesh had already vanished, but their skeletons still emitted terrifying auras. At first, they only appeared occasionally. But as the flying boat advanced, more and more of them appeared. The entire ground became covered with white bones. Did we end up coming to hell? Guo Ran couldn't help muttering as he stared at the white bones covering the blood-stained ground. This scene was truly similar to the hell spoken in legends. Suddenly, they heard a furious roar in the distance, and the ground trembled. A ray of light soared into the sky, but they were still too far to tell what was going on. We're going. The flying boat sped off in the direction of the light, 